Alright, everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. So, I don't know still how close we are to the end of the game, but we're on Chapter 20X, so... If, if, I, if I know Fire Emblem, most Fire Emblem games aren't that much longer than 20 chapters, so I would assume we're getting close to the end of the game, especially since all my units are now promoted, and a decent level through the, their promotions, so... We'll see. Anyhow, we're on Chapter 20X today, the Spear of Ice and Snow, so I believe we'll be going after the Legendary Lance. So this will be interesting. I don't think this is going to be the Rex Hasta from Fire Emblem 7. Maybe it's ice-based? We'll just have to find out. Do 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 do. After taking back Castle Eldessa, Roy turned his troops towards the ancient ruins located on the outskirts of the town. There is a high chance that a divine weapon is hidden there. Hey, Sibs, it's R Us. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic night. It's great to see you in chat. Oh boy, we got. Um. Okay, so I'm noticing that the. Dirt in your eye. <laughs> I'm noticing that these side quest chapters always tend to be very gimmicky, and it looks like the gimmick for this ice chapter is you got to break a lot of walls, which thankfully. At least some of these seem to have way less HP. 40 HP instead of 100. Alright, that's a relief. Let's take a look at some of these enemies we're facing. Silver Axe, Hand Axe. Steel Axe, that's not too bad. Ooh, Vulnerary. Nosferatu and a Men's Staff. The Hammer. Don't need to worry about hammers, because I'm not using any Armor Knights. <laughs> yeah. Light Brand Swordmaster. That's a little scary. We'll kill him from a distance. Flux. Brave Axe. Gotta watch out for that guy. Brave Sword really got to watch out for that guy. Oh, I'm actually a little scared of him. Yikes, what the? We have three units to have to start up here away from everybody else. Excuse me. I don't like that. <laughs> who, who gave you permission to do that? Longbow Sniper, that's not too bad. He can be annoying, but he's probably not going to be dangerous. All of these snipers have Longbows, that's cool. Oh, doggone it. We have to split up our crew again. <laughs> that sounds great, R.S. I can't wait. Steel axe, steel bow, hammer, flux, long bow, steel sword. Cool, flux, flux. Oh! Man, Fire Emblem 6 really loves its status staves, doesn't it? Another berserk staff. And a sleep staff. Great. And of course they're in the middle of all of this, so we won't be able to even come close to attacking them before we're in staff range, so we're just going to have to bring a butt-ton of restore staves again. Yeah, sure, why not? Who's the boss? Killing it. Oh, boy. Oh. It, wait! Oh, I thought it was Trek. I thought it was evil Trek. I'm sorry. Tech. Oh, 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 it's the, um, it's the Chad guy again. A general in charge of the standing forces of Ilya. This guy looks like if, like, the version from, like, the... The, the meme where it's like the Virgin X versus the Chad Y. It looks like the Virgin from that meme actually ended up becoming the Chad. That's what this boss effectively is. 20 strength and 17 defense. Okay. 12 speed, though. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Silver Lance and Spear. But he doesn't have the Spear equipped by default, which means we can cheese him. This is gonna be great. Alright. So we got most of our troops down here, but we've also got some troops on the side. I don't like that. Okay. So, looking at staff ranges. Yuck. Alright, we're gonna need a restore staff on... Are we gonna need a restore staff on all three of these areas? We can't, because we only... Alright, well, I know what the map is like. Who should we choose? We will not be needing Astol anymore. I'm not taking Zealot. Definitely Clarine. At this point, we can take Thaney again. Maybe Klein? I want to... How, I at least want to get Klein up to an S rank in bows, so... And on this wall level, I think he'll actually be good. Hey, Proxima, nice to see you! Welcome, welcome! Uh, who should I not take, then? Uh... I gotta, I gotta take Ellen just for the light magic rank and her staff rank. Oh my gosh, she's at D rank now. That's great. Maybe I don't take Deke? No, I kind of have to, don't I? No, I mean, I don't, but... Not taking Yuno or Calf, because, I mean, pfft, it's way too late in the game to be using them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ruker is level 14. He's not going to get any EXP. Um, 
You know, I think I will not take Faw. Even though I like Faw's getting those supports with Sophia, Faw's only got 15 uses left on her Dragonstone, and I'm gonna need to use her for the endgame, so I'll leave her and take Klein instead. Do 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 do. Alright. Let's sell what we can. So let's sell the red gem. Okay, those speed wings. Those will be important. Still not sure who to give those to. Might give them to Bart Ray. Might give them to Bart Ray. I, no, that's kind of a waste. Actually, I think I'll give them to Lelina, maybe. Yeah, I think Lelina would actually be a good choice for the speed wings. Because the reason for this is she has a decent amount of speed, but not quite enough to reliably double. Oh, wait. Ooh. You know what we might do? Okay. You know what we might do? Oh, I've got I've got a plan. I've got a plan. We're going to use the warp staff to just cruise through this level. We don't I'll take a restore staff just in case this doesn't work out. But oh, I Oh, we actually have quite a few restore staves. This is great. Um here, we'll sell that one use men staff because um that's not going to be needed anymore. We're not selling the physic. That would be a bad thing. Get out of here. We're also going to give up our 12-use Lightning Tome so we can get a 30-use Lightning Tome. Give yourself a Heal Staff because you have a high enough Magic Staff that that's all you really need. I really, really wish that I had more Hand Axes. And by that I mean any Hand Axes. Here, Deke, you can use a Steel Axe. I know it's a terrible weapon, but you're a good guy, so it shouldn't matter. What other stat boosting items do we have? Gengelic Robe. That's good. That's good. Alright. Oh, do we not have any steel swords? Someone has a steel sword somewhere, right? Maybe? No, I put them all on my cavaliers and they're still using them. Oh, here. You're not using that. I know it's not a steel sword, but it's good enough. Mm hmm. Yes, it's much easier to read Twitch chat during Fire Emblem 7, or 6, than it is for Pikmin 2, but that's also not saying much. Ooh, we have a lone bow ourselves! That's right. Okay, Chlorine. Let's actually give you a weapon you can use. Doggone it, I really should be using the silver card. And let's see, what staff can you use? Oh, we... so... hmm... A rescue staff actually could be useful if I want to pull people back. And, nah, we'll give her a mend. Hey, Thaney, you're running low on equipment, so... <laughs> okay, uh, let's give you an iron sword. And let's give you Douglas' slim lance. <laughs> that seems like a fun thing to do. Oh! Fa, that's right, you bought a steel sword. That's right, that's great. Okay, Bartman, you're good. Alright, Lance. We're not gonna use Douglas, so take his equipment. There we go. That's beautiful. The, the beginning. Oh my gosh, Elfin! The Elfin's carrying all of the stat boosting items. That's right. All right, Sophia, we should have another flux for you. Oh yeah, we got a couple. And we'll give you. Uh, I don't know. She's not going to use up that heal staff. You'll have an empty equipment. Uh yeah, I'm. There will probably be a Pikmin 2 stream this weekend. And I'm just not sure if it's actually going to happen on. Not sure if it's actually going to happen on Saturday or if it'll be a Sunday occurrence. Alright, I think that's good for trading. Now what we need to do is have the formation correct. So, okay, I believe you. we definitely need Elfin down here. That's a must. We also need Ellen down here. I don't want two flying units on one side either, so... Okay. How much speed do you guys have? 10 speed. Truck has 17 speed! That's... 
kind of ridiculous. Alright, uh... <laughs> Deke, you're going down as well. That sounded worse in my head than it actually was. Okay. Put one flying unit on that side. Uh, we can swap Deke with... I don't need free magic units. Uh, Sophia, you can go up there. We want a healer on all fronts, I think. There we go, that's... Uh, maybe put Klein on this side as well. This, this should be fine. Okay. There we go, let's start. This is gonna be interesting. The Spear of Ice and Snow, Chapter 20X. Boop, boop. Lord Trek, the enemy is advancing! Uh, there's no need to panic. These ruins are surrounded by plenty of enforcement. They won't be able to come in so easily. But the enemy has defeated the alien troops and our troops one after another. We do not have a high chance of winning. We do not have to win. Lord Murdoch said that all we must do is defend this place. We must hold out until the enemy gives up and leaves. That's not gonna happen. Thoughts on the future? Thoughts on the Futurama revival? Never have seen any of Futurama, so I have zero thoughts on it. The divine weapon lies in here. Elfin, have you heard about this place? Yes. I believe that the Mart, the Spear of Snow and Ice, resides in these ruins. The Mart? The Marte? Spear of Snow and Ice. Berrigan the Faithful used it during the scouring. Berrigan? All knights know about him. This is my first time hearing about him. I used to hear a lot about him during my studies. He's the finest example of knighthood. He's the knightiest knight that ever knighted. This building seems to have walls everywhere. Is there a path leading inside? Probably the remaining forces of Burn buried the pathways to defend themselves. Then they must not have had much time to do it. Maybe the walls are weak at certain areas. That is quite possible. Alright, let's do what we can. Okay. Let's begin. Track we all oh, per that's perfect. Yoink! <laughs> Empty level up, but you know what? That's expected because she's capped free stats, so. And now, let's see, let's warp up Deke as well. Oh, thank goodness, he just barely can. Zoop. As a matter of fact, the wizard's duel scene is the only part of Sword in the Stone I do like. It's not enough to save the movie, but it is a, it is a good one. Alright. I don't like my options here. Because that will break before I can kill. I don't want to use the Durandal if I don't have to. And this has a low chance of hitting. Alright, let's use the Lance Reaver. I've got to I've gotta kill these stupid druids before they can... <laughs> before they can status staff me. Oh, boss! I just realized... I sent up two of my guys that have the lowest resistance to face off against four magic users. Oh no. I I just I sent those two up cuz I'm like they will definitely one round these guys. Oh, actually, that could have been real bad. I just realized he has Nosferatu. If he had hit, I wouldn't have killed him. And he would have killed me. Okay, well, guess what, guys? We might end up losing Deke. Actually, wait. Okay, hang on. Deke has six reds. Which means he will take 11 damage from that guy, and he'll take... Um, 13 damage from that guy. Six reds? Yeah, so... Oh, he actually will survive. That's good. Oh, the, the killing edge. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. They will survive. It's all we want. It's all we can ask for and hope for. Wow, okay. Clarine. <sighs> Your low magic stat is not helping. Uh, 
Uh, just uh, checking. You've got a steel bow, and you've got... Okay, he does have a hand axe, but he... Hmm. Now, yeah, let's do it. Nice one, Klein. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to change the title of the stream, or the game I'm playing from to Pikmin 2 until after I started streaming, so... <laughs> Whoops! There we go. They are safe. Alright, Lance, let's see. Let's break through this wall. Not right away, but we can start breaking through the wall. <laughs> They're completely different games, yes, but I play both of them. They are both strategy games, to be fair. Oh, dang, Bart Rake and Double, yes. Oh. Nice job, Bart Ray. What's the score? Break that wall. Break that wall. All right. Okay, that's... Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. I mean, Trek is amazing, and Ellen with the Physics Staff can heal twice this turn. That's why I wanted uh, Ellen and uh, what's uh, Elfin right next to each other. <laughs> Probably should have changed Deke's equipment a bit, because I don't... As a meme, I don't want to break his Iron Blade, but it's probably not the most practical thing. Alright. Can I one-shot this guy with the Durandel? Nope, but I can come close. I didn't deck out... I didn't deck out Trek with... Okay. So let's, let's do this. Alright, cool. Because he is... Actually, I think the Swordmaster is the least dangerous, but... Oh. Mm. Oh! It was meant to be. No! It was meant to be! I guess that was meant to be. Alright. No, this is not the end of the world. It's not. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Oh, no. Don't... Just barely in range. <laughs> that was actually a little closer than I would have liked. Thank goodness Ellen has a capped magic stat. I, if Ellen... Yeah, if Ellen did not have a capped magic stat, she would not have been able to reach. That was bad. What is my favorite Disney song? That is a tough one. I'll give you a two. I've, I really like Prince Ali, and I really like Hi-Ho. Oh my gosh, I lost my brief bow. Um, will Clarine get murdered by this guy? Uh, possibly. <laughs> Maybe you'll crit. Nope. Rats. Friends like me? Oh, you mean friend like me? That's another good genie song. Uh, will you kill this guy now? No. I see. There, Roy, you're good you're good for something again. What do you have? You got a hammer. <laughs> okay, I'm not worried about a hammer. Not at yeah. all. <laughs> this is big brain time. Dog on it, Lolina, you're so good. Oh yeah. I might give a second angelic robe to Lolina. Because even after getting plus 7 HP from a stat booster, she still only has 34 HP. Which, for those of you who don't know, is really bad. I 
I'm just going to park him right here, so that way he can't attack Elfin. I don't want nobody attacking Elfin. Oh, hey, Sophia can attack something. Uh, will she be able to be attacked by something else, though? Oh, yeah, but it's a magic user, so she's fine. Here we go. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, nice dodge, too. What a pro. I think... Okay, I've definitely gotten a ridiculously stat-blessed track. <laughs> Just keep the sound alerts coming. They're great. Alright. The question is, will Deke die? I think at this point, he will not. There we go. Nice use of the steel sword, and he broke the sword on that sword master's stomach. What a chad. That's a higher hit rate than I was expecting for the hammer. Yeah, I think if I gave Lelina a speed wean, she would have doubled that guy. See, that's that's more the hit rate I was expecting on Lelina with a hammer. <laughs> oh man, Lance just barely two rounds that guy. And he's not even, like, using that weak of a weapon. Also, I will say, both of Radigan's villain songs, uh... The World's Greatest Criminal Mind and Goodbye So Soon. Top-tier villain songs that nobody remembers. Also a big fan of Heffalumps and Woozles. <laughs> Why even try, dude? I know there's literally no possible way that I can hit this guy, but I'm gonna try anyway. Oh man, killing all the enemies on this level is going to be really annoying. Also, one thing I think I need to do... We're going to hammer in the Warp Staff again. Because, doggone it, the Warp Staff is ridiculously good! <laughs> like... I'm not sure if the Warp Staff is just better in this game than it is in Fire Emblem 7. But it, it has more range, for sure. And I feel like there are so many more levels where it's like, oh, if you want to beat this, yeah, you kind of need the Hammerin Staff. Go for a crit, see if it happens. Aha! Kabloom! Nice job, Klein! Who liked the Powerpuff Girls more, you or Marty? Um, I'm not sure if Marty has ever seen any of the Powerpuff Girls, and I've only seen, like, clips of it. So I think by default, Fault me? Which feels weird to say, because I'm not even, like, a fan of the Powerpuff Girls, but I mean, like, I don't have anything against it. Wow, how is Thunder more accurate than Elfire? That just doesn't seem right. Elfire is supposed to be more powerful, more accurate, Thunder is supposed to have a higher crit rate. What Cartoon Network shows have I seen? Uh, I'm talking shows that, like, debuted on Cartoon Network, or shows that Cartoon Network actually had? Because, like, I watched things like Dexter's Lab, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I've seen some parts of Billy and Mandy, but, like, I'm, I'm an old soul, so any of these... Pff, I was supposed to say, any of these newer shows... Powerpuff Girls is not new at all. Way to go, Trek. You haven't leveled strength. Ooh. I, uh, we can... Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Up your light magic use. But for, oh, first, we should really deal with these two guys. Can you crack this guy's head open? You can! Kablam! Never doubt, Star Trek. Alright. We gotta go for the Steel Axe. BOOM! <laughs> Who cares if it's inaccurate? It's accurate enough for Deke, and that upped his weapon level. Is he a C rank now? Oh. 
Steel Axe is an E rank axe? That's weird. We could literally just go in and slaughter the boss of Trek. Not even a bad idea. No, you don't! <laughs> oh, yes! She's A rank. One more rank left to use the Ariola, And then you'll have, like, one chapter to use it. It's gonna be so exciting. Oh, yeah, I wrote this. So, the song, this song is called Scars of the Scouring, and it's very good. Let's let Bart Ray get some action in. Well, that's that's accurate to axes in this game. Submit! <laughs> Submit! We finally get to see Clarine attack! And she can't one round this guy. She can double him, but can't one round. You dare try to try to longbow me? You dare bring light to my lair? Oh, great. We don't one round. That's actually very good. Because now we can hopefully finish this guy off with Bart Ray. Oh, I should have given Bart Ray Armads. Armads is just sitting here. Yeah, let's try it. There we go! What cartoon channels did I watch as a kid? Some Cartoon Network, a lot of Boomerang, uh, Disney Channel, PBS. PBS was the big one. Because, uh, so this will this will tell you guys how old I am. Um, when I grew up, we didn't have cable or satellite TV. When I grew up, we just had two channels, and you had to use the antenna on the TV to get better reception. <laughs> so yeah, PBS was basically one of the only shows we actually had when I was a young child, so anything PBS and educational, I was all about. So things like uh, Arthur, Magic School Bus, Cyber Chase, Liberty's Kids, Clifford... All, all the bunch. I mean, it's no surprise to anybody that I am kind of a massive fan of Arthur. That's my old man voice. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, hey, you can build your light magic rank on this. Oh, are you having cake? Yes, exactly. Also, no spoilers, but in my spare time, I may or may not be currently working on an Arthur related project. Again, no spoilers, but hopefully it just doesn't get taken down, which it very well might. Uh, oh, just a hammer is fine. Yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, he has the brave axe. It's okay. Lance doesn't care. Oh, I guess Lance cares a little bit. Curse those. St I don't know why I bought so many steel axes. It seems like a very dumb thing to do because they're so inaccurate. No, not Bart Ray. No, not Lance. <laughs> you can't do this. Uh? I've discovered that, uh... In Fire Emblem, when all my weapons are at, like, low uses, I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm like, should I sell my weapons that are about to break? Should I bring them to battle? Should I just throw them on other people? I don't really know. Alright, 
Gotta build up... If, if Klein dies, we are not going to be able to use the Legendary Bow. We're just not. Oh, wait. I believe he is now S-Rank. That I don't like that 1% crit on Sylvia. I believe Klein is now S-Rank at Bows, which not only means that he is has a stat boost when using Bows. Oh, yeah. But he also now can use the Legendary Bow once we actually get it. Guess we'll use the Tina Staff. Still don't really know how this is any different from a men's staff, other than it's more uses, but... Eh. It's lower on uses, so... Yeah, that's not really practical. Just keep breaking down these walls, Roy. Okay, wait, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't, I don't think. I no, you know, I don't think I'm actually gonna do this. Let's just use the speed wings. <laughs> that's that's a man who has a brave sword. Yes, that is actually quite bad. Nice job, Ellen. Oh my gosh, that was a promoted unit and she got like 10 EXP. <laughs> she got speed! Oh, it's a perfect kill. In one hit. Alright, we need to send some reinforcements to deal with, help deal with Swordmaster, man. And I think reinforcements are going to be Ellen. Every Pikmin 2 stream from now on is going to be incredibly rage-inducing. This is just a fact that I have accepted. I'll also say this, so... Uh, Pikmin 2... One, Pikmin 2 No Deaths as a stream, one of the toughest streams slash challenges I've attempted. Very, very frustrating. This game also is pretty tough and can be very frustrating at times, mainly back in the day. Or back in the earlier game. I started Let's Playing, my new Let's Play, that will be getting uploaded sometime this year. It's a much easier game, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to sit down and just enjoy a nice, easier game. It really is. Hmm. Alright, well, Bart Ray, you can, you can kill that. I can't. Bart Ray, you can kill that guy. Thank you. Well, this answer is what I'm going to do with Sophia. I was like, do I attack with Sophia? Nah, I'm healing with Sophia. Yeah, don't waste don't waste the arty bucks. Save them for a rainy day. And by rainy day, I mean a randomizer stream where you can request custom music. Or making me talk in a weird voice. Who still needs Ah, oh, that's right, you two. <laughs> I mean... Nah. Okay, I thought that was going to happen. This is why I have two very powerful magic users ready to kick that guy's butt. Because I do not... Oh, you... Mm, I don't want to deal with this. Wow. A, you, a physical attacker with a longbow is able to actually damage Trek. I'm kind of surprised. He's... He was... He was trying to get the 1% crit to kill Sophia. All right, we got we got to get got to get rid of this guy. That guy poses a threat to my existence. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, little cookie. 
Ooh, six, 62,000 arty bucks. That's pretty good. You're, you're like... <laughs> oh, man. You're like one one thousandth or like one ten thousandth of the way to getting the arty face reveal. Very reasonable at like 200 billion arty bucks. For, move aside, Starbucks. I'm I'm the real cream of the crop. Get it? Cream of the crop! <laughs> Yuck. Ooh, this is how you build axe rank. Just break walls. Okay. Yeah, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. Yikes. Is there anything scarier than a swordmaster with a brave sword? Even with the speed wing, that guy doubles. That's scary. You know what? Let's see. Nope. Okay, hang on. No. I was supposed to be. That's actually pretty good. Here's the thing. I don't trust this game. I do not trust an 87% in this game, so I'm using Roy with the Rapier. I don't care if he doesn't get any EXP. I don't care if that's a promoted enemy. I'm not having anybody die. And Melina, you can deal with the easier enemy. Because I, I would not even be surprised if I had tried, missed an 87%, and then that guy gets a 22% crit and kills Melina. I fully would have expected that to happen. Oh, yeah! 3% crit for Lance. Oh my gosh! If I... Yes! If I had missed... If I had missed with Lelina, that guy would have crit him on the first attack. Because then I just used Lance and he got a 3% crit. Yuck. Yuck. Gosh, these guys are so far away. <laughs> so, Thaney, there's no way Thaney won round. <laughs> there's no way Thaney won rounds. No way at all. Wow, there. <laughs> well, oh, wow. And I thought Lance was weak. <laughs> Good lord. Well, we can at least grind for some EXP. Way to go. Way to, yay, you got one point of speed, Klein. Honestly, lit literally the only reason I am using Klein is because I want at least one person on my team to have an S rank with bows. If I get a pre-promoted unit towards the end of the game who is an S rank at bows with better stats than Klein, I will be benching Klein instantly. Oh, thank you for moving there, buddy. Now I can attack you with Thaney and Klein and Clarine. Well, I, well okay. I'll attack you with Clarine because that'll just <laughs> kill you. <laughs> no, don't attack Roy. What are you doing? I'm one of the few guys who can damage Trek. <laughs> I'm doing a good job. Oh yeah, easy kill. <laughs> Why did I bring my free weak sauce units all in the upper left? Like, seriously, all of them. Nice job, Clarine. Your first level is a Valkyrie. You get speed and res. Yep. That's, that's about right. So, Clarine is basically all about speed and res and luck, and Ellen is all about magic res and luck. I prefer Ellen, because Ellen still at least gets a decent amount of speed. <laughs> I think you have an addiction to the sound alert. It's okay, it's fine. Oh, wait! That's a sniper! That's not fine. I gotta kill him. Because Thaney... Uh, does not have a Delphi shield, and only has 30 free HP. Do 
dude, Trek is Trek is ridiculous. Okay, again, that ignore that ignore that free res. Just put your finger over the free res and look at him. Boom, he's so good. I am quite certain he is always this good. Okay, wait, hang on. You have a light brand. We'll see what we can do about that. Worst case, we can always pick up Elfin and run away like I'm a scared little chicken. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, that's a 26% chance to crit. But that's okay, we just... Ellen hasn't moved yet. All you need to do is... Okay. Don't miss. Thank you. Yeesh, Swordmasters are scary. Actually, you have... Oh, pfft, okay. We're, we're not dying from that. <laughs> there, okay, okay, we're, we're good. I don't have to use Ellen to heal. Oh, wait, I can't walk on that? That's apparently a wall. Doesn't look like it. I'm in the... I'm a courageous... I'm a big boy bird. I'm an eagle. That's the American choice. Man, I feel like Ellen... Uh, well, we... Okay, her 29 magic is epic. Her 19 res is good. Her other stats are, li are a little lacking, though. Dang. Like a boss. Oh yeah, Deke, you still exist. Oh, and Dream Team down here also exists. Unfortunately, the only person who needs healing is the healer. Oh wait, no, Deke does. Build up that staff rank. <laughs> I'm Big Bird. Hi, guys. I sure hope Ernie and Bert can play today. <laughs> I can't do a Big Bird voice. I can do some Sesame Street characters' voices, not Big Bird. Not Big Bird. <laughs> Let's break our javelin. It's its time. Oh no! We're almost out of Steel Bow! Can I do Elmo? Ah! Uh, <laughs> Elmo not think so! Not really, no. Oh, Elmo really wants to do that? No, no, no. I can do a good cookie monster, though. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Oh, me can't wait. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I can kind of do a Kermit the Frog voice. Not really, though. It always ends up turning into something a little different. I could kind of do Grover! But, oh. Well, I tried to do Grover and instantly gave myself the hiccups because, well, that happens. <laughs> well, I, I hope I do them proud. Let's just take out Lombo Sniper Boy before he can do any damage. Bart Ray's not invincible. Oh, Gonzo. Oh, you can do a Gonzo voice? That's cool. <laughs> Gonzo's kind of weird! It's, it's tough to do a good Gonzo voice, I found. Oh, hey! It's a sniper! <laughs> not for Vaughn! <laughs> Crack his head open with an iron axe. That's the American way. Alright, will Trek get another stupidly good level up? Nope! He got one of the worst level ups you can get while not getting nothing. Proud of you, buddy. Right, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Yep, it is Muppet Cannon that Gonzo is an alien. That was a weird movie. <laughs> hey, Glitchy! Welcome, welcome! We're, uh,. Just breaking some walls down, you know, pretty typical Fire Emblem stuff. Definitely a very fun and well-designed level. 
Had to use two uses of the warp staff to deal with those stupid status staff users. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Um... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna hit me. And if you do, you won't kill me. Steel Axe is good weapon. But not really. Alright, Lance, let's see your fantastic level 9 levels. Once again, Lance, you're getting good levels, but you're just not getting strength. Oh, he's capped speed now. That's cool. Nothing's gonna double him. <laughs> Alright. Gotta move you over towards the other healers so you can get healed. I know, that was an oxymoron. You're creating a gigantic wall. Uh, a map of a gigantic wall with a face, it changes the map around and randomly teleports units all over the place. That sounds funny, but also very frustrating to play. <laughs> oh no, 3% chance to hit! <laughs> Not my Ellen! Once I actually get Ellen's Light Magic rank to an S, I'm never going to use her again, other than for, like, healing. It's the principle of the thing. I want to use all the legendary weapons, like, one time. I don't know how tough the last map is going to be. Calling it Living Hieroglyph. That's a great chapter name. But again, a map where you... The units get teleported around with no real rhyme or reason sounds frustrating. Me, 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 me. Alright, let's try it. It's based off the same concept as destroying walls in the game in this game. I'm I am grateful that on this chapter the walls don't have 100 HP, because if the walls had 100 HP, that would be really stupid. Alright, I think it's only really right if we try to get Ellen to the boss room. So that way she can build up her light magic rank on the guy before he, while he doesn't have the uh, spear equipped. Have I seen any Muppet movies? I think it's easier to count the Muppet movies I have not seen. I have not seen Muppet Wizard of Oz. And I think that might be it? Question mark? Possibly? Muppets Pirates of the Caribbean? I didn't know that was a fan. Okay, I have not I have not seen that. Alright, Bart Ray, you got this. Build up that bow rank boy. Oh, Muppet Treasure Island! Yes, I, I've seen Muppet Treasure Island. That's a fun one. Maybe. A little bit overrated? Just because I feel like so many people are like, that's like the best Muppet movie. It's, like, it's fun. It's not the best. It has some jokes that aren't great. Muppet Christmas Carol is arguably like the best Muppet movie, and it's definitely one of my favorites. Probably my favorite adaption of Christmas Carol. Just crazy well done. You wouldn't you wouldn't think so. You'd think like Muppet Christmas Carol, yeah, okay, sure. Like no, it, it's so good. Michael Caine as Scrooge. It, it's it's great. He's the best Scrooge. Mickey's Christmas Carol is also great. Don't get me wrong. But I think Muppet Christmas Carol is just slightly better. Elvin is too fat for Ellawood or... <laughs> or Lolina to do anything with. Cool. Heal up, Lance. Thoughts on the Muppet Show? Haven't seen a lot of the Muppet Show. I mean, it's, it's fine. Probably need to watch more of it in order to get an idea. Oh, hey, we got all of our healers basically in one place. Ain't that convenient. Bart Ray's too fat for even Milady to take. That makes sense. Jim Carrey's Christmas Carol from 2009. Is that the 3D animated one? I heard that was good, but never saw it. There's only 
there's so many adaptions of the Christmas Carol that, like, when I actually want to experience the Christmas Carol, I'm probably watching the Muppet version, just because that's the best one I've seen. Or maybe I'd actually try my hand at giving the book a little read. Alright. Ellen, what can you do? Oh, what voice did I give this guy? It's, it's, it's Evil Trek. No, I must be dreaming. How did you get through those walls? Well, I warped, and then we broke them. In that order. <laughs> okay, I think I think the final battle for this needs to be Trek versus Tech. Star Trek versus Star Tech. I gave it a Count Duke. I failed to see how that's possible. I can't do a Christopher Lee voice. All we have to do is do this. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do a Christopher Lee voice. You must see that my Jedi powers are far beyond yours. Now, <laughs> as a matter of fact, Willy Wonka did remember the first chocolate bar he ever had. <laughs> Anyone else remember the, uh... Uh... What's it? The Tim Burton Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie? Yeah, that's... That's weird. Ah, uh, yeah. Christopher Lee was great. Such, such a talented... Christopher Lee's one of those guys where, like, the more I learn about him, the cooler and more awesome he was. Like, he apparently made, like, a death metal Christmas album. He was Dracula. He was in Star Wars. He was, like, an actual expert at sword fighting. <laughs> one of my favorite phases from the, uh, Lord of the Rings behind the scenes were, like, his character has to get stabbed, and, like, the director was like, Alright, now, like, when you get stabbed, like, do this scream, and he's like, Have you any idea the sound a man makes when he's stabbed in the back? It's because I do, and it's not a scream. <laughs> the director's like, you seem to have, like, expert knowledge of exactly what sound is made, so we just said, alright, just do, do it your way, then. <laughs> because apparently he was also basically in the British Secret Service during World War II, and saw some... Stuff. Alright, Star Trek. It's Trek versus Tech. It has to go down. Here we go! <laughs> they got lazy with the names later on. Oh yeah, you can't beat Trek. Pass, strong ones. And no burns true power. If burns true power is dying on the throne to, to Trek... And, uh... Alright, then. What is my favorite movie? Uh, of all time? Toy Story. The original. It's fantastic. If you're talking out of which of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's movies is my favorite, that's the, gotta be the Gene Wilder version. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Klein, you have only supported with your sister, so you're just kinda gonna suck. Sorry, them's the breaks. I don't make the rules, it's just how it is. Kung Fu Panda is awesome! You wouldn't think it would, like, you'd think, um, with a movie with the name of Kung Fu Panda, you wouldn't think it would be very good. It is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it's, it's way better than it has any right to be. Especially the second one, dude. Like, Kung Fu Panda 2, the year that came out, that was the year that DreamWorks made the Pixar movie and Pixar made the DreamWorks movie. I'm convinced of this. Because Pixar made Cars 2, which, while I do think it gets a bad rap, it's definitely one of Pixar's weakest, and then Kung Fu Panda 2 is just... Way better than it had any right to be. It was so freaking good. They, they made a peacock a scarier villain than a snow leopard. Like, how, how do you do that? And the snow leopard was actually a cool villain. Oh, we could support both of... You want me to decide? Let's support Star Trek first. You must be one of Ilya's mercenary knights. Yeah, I'm Trek. I am a lady. Pleased to meet you. You're... Yes, I am a Dragon Knight from Burn, as you probably suspected. Oh, I see. What? What do you think of the fact that a knight from Burn is fighting alongside you? Well... You know, so what? So what? It's not like people from Burn have seven ears or anything. Well, yes, I only have two. See? We're all brothers and sisters, you know? Do, do you think so? Yup. I'm 
like Trek. Trek's a simple man, and he's talking sense. <laughs> you like Cars 2? Best Pixar movie is up. I challenge anyone to this. Oh, glitchy. Uh, I got bad news for you. I consider up to be the... S the no, not... not my second least favorite Pixar movie, only after Good Dinosaur. I'm not saying it's... It's bad? Okay, oh. Proximate, you haven't seen Up. Okay. I will not... I will not spoil anything about Up. I'll just say this. This doesn't spoil it. This is just my thoughts. Up was two movies. Up had two completely different storylines that didn't really work together, and they crammed both of them together to try to make them work. I really liked one of the stories, and I did not care for the other one. And the one that I didn't care for is the one that took up the most... the majority of the movie. That That's what I'll say. I think Up should have been a short film. I think it would have worked better. I, I get why people love it so much. It's, it's very it's a very powerful movie. Ellen, you walk a lot better now. Yes, I feel like I relieved myself after of a huge load after you were kind enough to listen to me. Good. But I'm no good, am I? I am the cleric. I'm the one who's supposed to listen to you and relieve your stress. Ellen, didn't I tell you before that you mustn't mull over things like that? Yes. I'm actually grateful that you didn't tell me when you went to off with the princess. Thankful? Of course! You protected Princess Guinevere while I was gone. Lady Milady. Let's continue to work together to help Princess Guinevere in the future. So no more feeling down over trivial matters, alright? Yes. Ah, ah, ah! I, yes, yeah, so I think my five, again, not worst. I'm careful about saying worst. My five least favorite Pixars are number one, Good Dinosaur, then Up, then Brave, then I think I think Cars 3, then Cars 2. Cars 3, there's no doubt it's a better movie than Cars 2 from like an objective standpoint, but I enjoy Cars 2 more. <laughs> well, Cars 2 makes me laugh. Cars 3 makes me laugh in a bad way. <laughs> I laugh at how ridiculous the plot is. Let's conquer! It's here! The spear is here! This is Berrigan's spear, Mart Ray. Oh, it's, it's- wait, it's Mart Ray! It's like Bart Ray, but Mart Ray. It's beautiful, as if made of crystal and ice. Master Roy, Burns troops are escaping! Oh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we must attack them now! No, don't. They're fleeing. We, they don't have any more will to fight. But... They have families as well. There's no need to fight more than necessary. We literally just went out of our way to slaughter as many units as we possibly could. Also, we got the malt, the Mart Ray. Okay, that did not look like it was made of ice. It looked like it was a yellow spear. And as last last time I checked, if you have yellow ice, let's just say you don't want to put that icicle in your mouth. Princess Guinevere, we will attack Burn now. So may I ask? The rest of the story. Oh, before we get that, do I think Shark Tale is bad? Haven't seen it. Know what it's about? Doesn't seem like a good movie to me. King Zephiel was an outstanding pupil in his studies. He was skilled in Warcraft. He grew up to be the perfect heir for the king. That is correct. But still the former king did not look kindly at him. In fact, our father began to hate Zephiel because he grew to become such a brilliant and worthy youth. Yeah, we see his father, King Desmond, in Fire Emblem 7. That guy's such a tool because King Desmond is like... I hate my son. I want to kill him, and I want my like illegitimate daughter to be like the the heir to the throne. And the reason he hates Zephiel is because Zephiel is awesome, and the king sucks. That that's literally his reason. Like the king is a massive loser who doesn't do well at anything, and Zephiel's the opposite. He's like, I hate Zephiel. He's, he's the worst. Kill him. So yeah, this is gonna be a short stream. I might do another chapter. I I'm feeling another chapter. What is that supposed to mean? Our father was a man of ordinary skill and intellect. Yeah, they're about to say that. Therefore, Zephiel's outstanding skill made our father cold towards him. Jealousy. And then one day, our father told Zephiel that the next heir to the burn would be Guinevere's husband. What? That's awful! But Zephiel was very patient. He said that he did not mind even if he did not gain the throne. But the people around us who were looking forward to Zephiel's ability to be a good king would not allow anyone else to be the heir. Pressured by the public, our father lost his patience at last and decided to kill King Zephiel. At a banquet, our father gave Zephiel a poisoned drink from his own hands. This is after he tried to kill him in Battle Before Dawn, which is one of the worst Fire Emblem chapters ever. And that was the first and last cup that Zephiel ever took from our father. 
After returning to his room, Zephiel started to get sick. For ten days and nights, Zephiel lingered between life and death. But Murdoch, Zephiel's teacher and loyal general, saved his life. Good on, Murdoch. The former king never did anything after that. No. But I have heard that he had plans to get rid of Murdoch and Zephiel's mother as traitors. He was scheming to murder them all, along with Zephiel. After hearing that, Zephiel made believe that he was dead. My father then checked the coffin to confirm Zephiel's death. Oh, jeez. I did not know about all of this. This is interesting. I was but a child then, so naturally I could not have understood what was going on. All I knew is that after our father died, Zephiel never smiled again. Until then, he was strict at times, but always a kind and loving brother. To me. So, princess. So from that moment forward, I knew I had to take action. I... See. But now Zephiel is at a place where he can never hear me. Roy, please, please stop him. Please stop him from inflicting pain and suffering to the people of Bern and the people of, 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 other, of other nations. Why does that. I'm curious if that's a translation issue or if that's a glitch of the text boxes. Because I have heard Fire Emblem 6 is. that the code for Fire Emblem 6 is kind of held together at the seams and is very poorly written. Even if it may resolve to the blade. I have made my resolve when I entrusted this task to you. I see. You have my word and loyalty, Princess Guinevere. I swear to the Fire Emblem that I will stop King Zephiel. Can we do that now? Oh wait, no. We're saving over this. Chapter 21, The Sword of Seals. Ooh! After surviving many hardships, Roy finally set foot on burned soil. Oh, we're going to burn now! Guinevere guided Roy towards the Temple of Seals. But in their path stood Burn's elite troops, the strongest army on the continent, led by Lord Murdoch, the smartest, handsomest, most amazing general of all, the strongest general in Burn. Oh, we're attacking Murdoch now! Oh no! Etruria and Burn, the two leading forces on the continent, out for an all-out war. The longest and bloodiest day yet to be seen by Elite was about to begin. Uh. Am I getting into a really b That's a big <laughs> chapter! That is an absolutely massive chapter. Oh, crud. Well, um, we can at least take a look at it. This is also, I think, where the final um, secret shop is. I, 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 lo I looked it up because there's no way I'm finding the secret shops on my normal playthrough. There's one other secret shop in the game. There's only two. The one was on the first level, one is on this level. I think the secret shop is right there. So, alright. So, it's... Okay. So, first off, let's look at the boss. Murdoch. Tomahawk and a Knight's Crest. Which we can steal for cash money. He has 62 HP. He is literally cheating at the game. Your HP cap is 60. Oh, okay. That's scary. Um, 27 strength, 25 defense. 17 res! So, basically, he's going to be really hard to kill. 20 con. Good lord. And he has a tomahawk. I mean, only 12 speed, so he won't double, but he's on a throne, so he's gonna dodge too, so... Alright. He's got that. We got silver lance. Okay. And we, got it. we gotta know where these are. You're the killer lance, you're the silver lance. Steel lance, javelin, steel lance, javelin, steel lance. Silver lance. Where are the silver lance? You're silver lance. You're killer lance. There we go. Silver lance. Okay. We got... I don't like all these silver lance killer lance, guys. I don't, so don't like the Manichaeats, but we got the legendary weapons to deal with them. Divine Physic, Divine Physic, Divine Physic, Elfire Mend. Okay, where's the Air Caliber guy? Okay, he's there. Where's the Bolting guy? He's there. Okay. Yeah, Murdoch, don't mess around. Horse Slayer. Horse Slayer. Iron Bow, Iron Bow, Iron Bow, Long Bow, Long Bow, Long Bow. Dog food, cat food, dog food, cat food, dog food, cat food, dog food, cat food. Dog food, cat food. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did it! Before I seize the frog, I was going to use more of them stat boosting items. Okay. So, in preparation of the secret shop, we're going to be selling all the stuff we don't need. So, we don't need a hero's crest. We don't need a knight's crest. We don't need an Orion's bolt. We do not need this many lockpicks.
All right, let's just let's just see what all we have. At this point, we have enough. We don't need chest keys. We don't need a door key. We are we even going to use? Wow, how did I get this many vulneraries? I'm not using these. I want I want to see I want to see that G amount reach six digits. It's not going to reach six digits, but I want it to. That's that's all that really matters. What else are we not going to use? Okay, we're not using Eclipse. It's a, such a bad weapon. We might use you call that. that entertainment? I do. Uh, we'll... Okay, we're... A torch staff with one use. We're not using that. I'm not using the Devil Axe. It's, it's, it's just asking to die. Am I using the Steel Blade or the Silver... I'll keep the Silver Blade. I'm not using the Steel Blade. No way. No way, no how. Is that it? Um, okay, we don't. We aren't using antitoxins either. That's that's just not happening. Okay, can we reach the six, the fifty thousand mark? I don't think that's asking for too much. I don't know if there's another Fog of War chapter, so I'll keep at least, at least the five torch. That should be fine. Also, Calf, you have yeah, I used the lockpick. Oh, lockpicks fetch for a nice price. Ah, okay, cool. We reached 50,000. Okay, Percival... Here's the feint. You're not using those. And we're not using... Or not Percival, Douglas. I always get those two mixed up. Hmm. Do we have time... Will we have time to do this chapter? That's kind of what I'm mulling over in my head. Because this is a big chapter. Also, to get the side quest for this chapter, uh, guess what, folks? We need... Okay, Zealot. I'm not using Zealot. Booster? I don't want Booster. Oh, yeah! We also are selling the Elysian Whip. We can also sell the Al Sword. No! <laughs> no, we can't We can't do it. I can't sell the Al Sword. Out of respect for Toy Story 2. Yeah, I'm... Hmm, do we have time to do this chapter? It's such a big chapter... The requirements to get the side quest, there's another side quest, is we have to beat this in under uh, 30 turns, apparently. That's pretty... That's a lot. So this is probably going to take a while. I'm going to try it. Worst case, we have to leave in the middle of the stream. Okay, we'll take them. Out of these all-stars that we have left, I mean, we can take two extras. I'll t Percival is good. Like, I'll take Percival. Should I... T okay, guys. I want you guys to vote. Should we take Douglas... The general who has a decent amount of defense, or should we take Merlenis, who, at the very least, can we can grab items from his convoy into our hands, and if he dies, then he can come back on the next level. So, do we have Merlenis or Douglas? I leave it up to Twitch chat. In the meantime, I'm gonna deck out Percival with the latest attire. This is... Okay, we're at the point of the game. I think it's time to start busting out the good weapons. The silver weapons. We gotta vote for Douglas! Okay, who's got all them stat boosters? Oh, that's right. Elfin does. Okay. Well, and we're gonna give us... We're not gonna give it to her, but we do have another angelic rope. Who should we use the angelic robes on? That's a good question. Also, Roy still hasn't promoted yet. Oh, the Malte. Plus five to skill. Okay. Uh, we're giving that to Milady. Also, before we go any further, you are getting the arm ads. Oh, yeah. Bart Ray arm ads. We don't have a special bow. So, okay. We also don't have the special dark magic tome. Who gives? Okay, Trek, your stuff is breaking, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell your steel sword, where you're going to... S do we want to sell the horse slayer? Nah, the horse slayer is actually a pretty good weapon. <laughs> it 
But it's kind of a waste to give a killing edge to a cavalier. No, he don't. He don't need that. We're getting him an iron sword and a silver lance. As for lance, we need more steel sword. No, lance silver sword. You need a silver sword. All I really need is a silver sword. We are grabbing also four blades. Maybe bolting as well. Okay, Deke. What can we give you? You can actually use the silver blade. That's fine. Actually, wait. You've got Durandal. That's kind of redundant. I... Again, I really wish... Oh, Worm Slayer. Worm Slayer is going to be so good on this chapter. Uh, you can also take an extra staff. Uh, what do we need? Another physic. Oh, no, no. Hang on. A rescue. We definitely want a rescue staff on this level. I think I've got things all sorted out. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. That was good. I, I applaud you for that one. Okay. Well, with... <laughs> I guess by unanimous vote of literally one person, we are taking Douglas. We're going to give him the Brave Lance so he can actually double things. And we're giving him Slim Lance, just for the walls. Alright. Are we good? Is everybody decked out? Is everybody happy with their attire? I think, at this point, we may as well give Roy an elixir. And I'll give him a Pure Water as well. Just in case we need him. Alright. The Sword of Seals. Which I think is actually another name for the Binding Blade. So I think we're gonna get the Binding Blade, whatever it is here. Let's start things out. Chapter 21, The Sword of Seals. Ooh. Interesting music. All troops are at their posts and are ready for battle, my lord. Good, thank you. Gale, so it begins. Oh, can we recruit Gale here? Yes, my lord. We are ready as well. Your squad will be key to winning the battle. Understood. Of course, my lord. I will not let you down. Yes. We will show them the power of Burns' main frontline army. Still, that general from the Lycia Alliance army made it this far. General Roy? Yes, that's him. I wish to see how he fights, by going up against him directly. I'm not- that would be suicide! That would be an instant game over! Okay, we're- we're- we're definitely nearing the end game now. Do we really need this <laughs> Do we really need this happy Star Fox music? Oh, it's, it's him! Ah, General Roy, I found you at last! Bishop Yodel! What brings you all the way out here from Etruria? Is something wrong? I did some research after receiving your letter, and I've come to the conclusion that Bird has indeed resurrected the Dark Dragon! Is that true? But Hartmut defeated the Dark Dragon in the war. How could Bird have brought it back to life? Apparently Hartmut did defeat the Dark Dragon, but he did not finish it off. What? What a wuss! Instead of killing it, he sealed it away in the mountains of Bird, and the sword he used to seal it was... The Sword of Seals? Well, that would make sense. Oh, did you know? Yes, I studied a little. Even if the Dark Dragon has broken out of its seal, if we can obtain the Sword of Seals, then we may be able to seal it again or kill it once and for all. That is the Church's conclusion, and they sent me to ask for your assistance. Do you know where the Dark Dragon is? Yes, my next point. As the fire-breathing dragons can change into human form, it is highly possible that the Dark Dragon is as well. In fact, we currently have a suspect. The Dark Priestess that is always at King Zephiel's side. The Dark Priestess? Oh yeah, her. We have no solid evidence, but it is true that she appeared at around the same time that the other fire-breathing dragons started to appear. Did I actually pick Green Douglas, or did I deck him out but forgot to actually select him? Apparently, the dragons sealed away their power in gems called dragon stones to change into human form so that they could adapt to this environment. In that case, it would not be surprising if the dark dragon was in the form of the human woman as well. In any case, we have to go see her to confirm the truth. Yes, I shall accompany you as well. Oh, you would fight alongside us? That would be most helpful! Also, take these! These are the divine weapons that the church found on its own. Wait, we're just, you're just giving it to us? I have instructions to give them to you. Divine weapons too? 
If the Dark Dragon has really been released, then this is the greatest danger mankind has ever faced since the Dragon Human Wars. Yes, we will face it with all our strength. Ooh! It's this song! Oh, Fiend's getting epic now. So we get Yoru! Okay! He's got Recover Lightning, something called the Holy Maiden Step, and then... <laughs> is that a French word? <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. Plus five to speed. So that's that's our S-rank bow. Cool. Yodel. Fifth... Well, capped res. Capped level, so he's not much fun to use. All right. Uh, I mean, he... I mean, well, he's a backup healer. Well, unfortunately, I was a dumb, stupid face, and, um... Didn't actually, uh, bring Douglas, so... We're gonna go back and bring Douglas and just see how long this chapter takes. Who knows? Guess what? You know, this might be our undoing. Yep, I forgot. There we go, Douglas. Alright, now we start for realsies. Oh, thank you for taking me. <laughs> thank you for taking me, Spyro. Oh, doggone it. You've got the cards, and you're far away. Hi! Alright, we need... We need somebody with inventory... Oh, wait, I didn't give anybody inventory space. Okay, that's a problem. Alright, first off, Klein, you're taking that legendary bow. The... It's beautiful. Alright, I would like a flying unit to have those cards. Probably Thaney. No, probably Thaney. Okay, at least give me the silver card. Here, I'll hand over... My, I'm not using the Slum Lance. And uh, I'll hand over... Hand over the Iron Lance as well. Do, 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 do. I don't know how long this chapter is going to take, because I've never played it before. Oh, ho, ho! Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to buy anything there yet. But I'll definitely be waiting for that at the end of the chapter. How about can I go to that without wasting all my movement? Alright, and then Ooh, we can buy physics staves! I mean, literally only well no, I guess Yodel can use it as well. I'm buying a physics staff. I also gotta go over there. Oh good, Sophia and Fa are together again. Okay, who's got a barrier staff? I think... Clarine does! Yay! We're gonna barrier up Lance. Oh, I got it, okay. We really need to assign Angelic ropes to people. Uh... Honestly, I'm thinking Ellen, Lelina, Ellen, Lelina seem to be pretty good candidates. I think Ellen, Lelina, and then Clarine are probably our best candidates. Or Thaney. Actually, yeah, Thaney should be one of them. Okay, so I'll I'll say I'll say no to Clarine because Clarine is not going to be a main combat unit to begin with, anyways. So, shoot, I should have had her trade for the Angelic Room. Oh, uh, well. We gotta, gotta finish within, uh... Okay. We gotta finish this within, um... Nobody needs to be alive to get the side quest, but I need to keep Roy alive. I need to keep Alina alive so I can get their best ending. I need to keep Fa alive for the best ending. And I also need to finish within 30 turns. But 30 turns is a very long time, so I'm not worried about that. Wait, where did Tre- Oh, Trek's down there. Okay, we don't need all of the Cavaliers down there. We should- Actually, should we split up the army? That might be dumb to split up the army, actually. Talk on it. This is good music. No, we can, we can, we can have a, a divergence.
Oh yeah, well, I brought Astol. Uh, I brought Astol mainly just to steal that Knight's Crest from uh, Murdoch. Ooh. And we get Burns theme as the enemy music. What is that village going to have? It's so late in the game. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Cog of Destiny. Cog of Destiny from Fire Emblem 7, in terms of how large the map is. It even looks like a similar map, too. Rawr! Alright, you've got that air caliber. Boom, 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 ba ba bum 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 ba da bum 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 Actually, no. No. Angelic Robe is not for you. Angelic Robe is for Lelina. I am literally giving Lelina not one, but two Angelic Robes. There we go. Jamie's all better now. There we go. What does it mean to participate in a raid? Did Sophia crit? I wasn't looking at the screen. She did. Good, good girl, Sophia. Uh, per participating in a raid means that... So a raid on Twitch is basically like when one person is done streaming, they can raid another person, where it's basically they bring their Twitch chat to the other person's Twitch chat, and basically like their stream turns into the other person's stream. If that makes sense. Okay, we also need to make sure that Fa's Divine Stone doesn't break. That would be bad. We also gotta watch out for the bolting. Okay, that's a lot of units that's coming this way. Plus five to skill. Milady, I fully trust that you can just go to town on these guys. Actually, is there- are there any- okay, yeah, there's the group of Wyverns over there. Alright, so Percival will be useful in taking out that group of Wyverns. I sh I should have planned this a little bit better. La la! Here. Here is your angelic robe. I'll take... Well, I mean, I don't want to take either of those. I'll take your javelin, I guess. Because I do want Thaney to continue uh, doing what she does best. Alright, there we go. Thaney with 40 HP makes me feel a little bit better. I'm old! Favorite Robin Williams movie? I mean, does Aladdin count? Because <laughs> I'm going to go with Aladdin. Alright, Trek, you're going to be one of Sophia's many bodyguards. Lance, you're going to be one of Sophia's other many bodyguards. Oh, fun! Ambush spawns, because of course there are. Definitely love ambush spawns. <laughs> okay, if, Al if Aladdin counts, then definitely Aladdin. Oh yeah, killer lances. Oh yeah, I just threw Milady in the middle of like ten wyvern riders who all have high strength. Oh, maybe that was a stupid idea. Well, we'll find out. Nah, she's fine. The Wyvern Lord might hit hard, but... The oh. Hall. I think Milady's gonna break her Silver Lance, like, in two turns. That's the problem with Silver Weapons. They're expensive, and they don't have a lot of uses. Oh, that's not... Good. I mean, there's no way you're doubling Thaney. No way.
Oh, you fool. I have a javelin. <laughs> a dandelion? <laughs> of course, I missed with my javelin, but... Mm. Yeah, this is... This is definitely giving me strong Cog of Destiny vibes. Is Aladdin the only Robin Williams movie that I have seen? Um... It's one of them. I think I saw... Was that Robin Williams? In school, I saw... I had to see a couple movies. One of them, I think, had Robin Williams in it, where it's like... It's like a guy and his family all die and go to the afterlife, and he like has to save his wife from hell. I can't remember what it's called. Might have been Robin Williams, might have been someone completely different. Honestly, I have a lot of those school movies uh, blur together. No, I have not seen Mrs. Doubtfire. Wait, hang on, how close are the... Oh, okay, there... No! Oh. Nope. Klein will still be out of range. Wow, Klein, you are... Weak sauce. Oh, wait, that's... Not the guy I was wanting to attack. I'm like, why is he only doing 9 damage to an archer? That's because I wasn't attacking the archer. Uh, okay, if I move... Okay, first off, that's a very not fun clump of enemies all here. That is, um... Okay! Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, Douglas, <laughs> put that Brave Lance to use. Oh, come on! Enemies in this dodge 80% very frequently. Or maybe it just feels like it. Still doesn't hit the kill this guy in one hit. Okay, this is why... So now the enemies are learning the strategy of clumping units together. It's okay. We've got Trek and Lance. Clarine, would it kill you to level up magic? For once! How about the Armads? Armads kills in one hit! Ha-ha! Bart Ray Armads! <laughs> oh, yes. What does Armads give you? Plus five defense. That's nice. That's very nice. Alright. Normally I would send... Tr no, you know what? I'm sending Trek over here. I want Trek to kill this archer. But he's close enough that once the massive onslaught of enemies arrives, he'll be able to come in and kick butt. <laughs> Just like the Hunchback of Notre Dame said. You're right. I'll kick butt. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that that wasn't Hunchback of Notre Dame. That was just something I made up. Was the movie I was thinking of called What Dreams May Come? Yeah, that was it. What Dreams May Come. That was its name. Yeah. That was a dark movie. But then again, they never show you happy movies when you're in school. Maybe I brought too many enemies up here. Too many enemies. Maybe I brought too many cute characters up here. Alright, well, Ellen, we need you to kill the Wyvern Lord. Ellen, are you for real? Okay, um, hmm. Well, that was not what I expected. Well, at least my lady can finish the job. I think Robin Williams did a lot of dark movies. Again, haven't seen a lot of them, but... He was not... Uh, okay. It's con it's honestly kind of astonishing how good Milady has become, despite how many of her level-ups have literally just been plus one HP. I swear she's gotten like six level-ups that were just plus one HP. Oh, hey. Enemies are coming. How about that? Eighty-nine percent crit, ladies and gentlemen. We have Critger right here, and just think, his A support partner isn't even up here. 
Okay, Root... Oh, yes, Root... Okay. Okay. I think our best bet against uh, Mr. Murdoch is going to be Rutger Armor Slayer. I think that's going to be amazing. Let's equip that Worm Slayer. Well, let's, try, let's try this. Have I noticed that my streams and videos get uploaded one hour earlier due to daylight savings? I mean... It's... my videos still get uploaded at the usual time, it's just the usual time is now one hour earlier. Like, it's... They, my Apollo Justice videos are still uploaded at noon, it's just noon is now earlier. I'm not up... oh, oh yeah, what does the Holy Maiden do? Full recovery to all units on the map! Okay, so it's Fortify staff on steroids. That's what it is. That's... that's crazy. Alright, let... Mm, yeah, let's... let's try to minimize the amount of people who try to attack Elfin. That would be good. Okay, that mob of enemies... Oh wait, no, we haven't ended the turn yet. Like, wow, the mob of enemies didn't actually move! Now this chapter's gonna take a while. That's kind of annoying. All right, we're definitely healing up Lance because he's going to be in the center of all the combat. I really wish that you could just you could just turn off staff animations because I still want to see Sophia use her regular attacks. I just don't want her to see her use staffs all the time. All right? Yeah. Oh, you've got to be okay. So you're just going to throw never-ending enemies at me. This may well end up being a chapter where I lose somebody and have to reset. And if I have to reset, then that's going to be the end of the stream. <laughs> and I, Oh, actually, at this point, I have a lot of units... At this point, I have a lot of units where if they die, I actually have to reset. Not because I need the unit, but because I need the legendary weapons that a lot of these units... Like, so if Klein dies, he's carrying the legendary bow. So, I actually need the Legendary Bow in order to get the good ending of the game. So, that actually could be bad. I'm gonna try my best not to lose anybody, but... Uh, level 10 Trek! Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Trek could basically get nothing for the rest of the game, and he's fine. Thank goodness Elfin is capped at his level. Okay, we've got our work cut out for us. This insane mob of enemies is flying right towards us, and, um, yeah. How are we gonna deal with this? Oh, hey, he's attacking Douglas. Thank goodness Douglas has, like, 20 defense. But Douglas is so slow that he gets doubled. <laughs> It would sting. Well, sad downer endings happen if you're playing Fire Emblem. Okay. Especially if you're playing blind and a game is diff- Oh, okay. Oh, that guy didn't double Douglas. That is interesting. They all attacked Douglas. All of them. Okay. Um, this is rough. I trust... Tr Darn it, you don't... Okay, Silver Lance. I prefer the axe for the weapon triangle advantage, but that won't quite one-round people. It's a good thing we have Star Trek. You got 20... Alright. We're gonna have to bust out the Divine Stone. I could use the last Hamern Staff on the Divine Stone, if necessary. Okay, she must have way better growth rates than a lot of units, because I think she's always gotten at least four to five stats every level up. Which I am not complaining with. Please don't miss. Are you kidding me, Klein? Klein. <laughs> 
68 damage to a Wyvern. Don't mess with the arm ads. Or you get bit. Okay, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. I want to make sure I've got a, a line of tanks around here, so... I want to make sure I don't put people like Lelina in the middle of harm's way, because she will die. So I think what's going to be best is something like this. I am playing on normal mode. I have You can't change the difficulty after you've started. So this is normal mode, so I shudder to think what hard mode would be like. Alright, um... Okay, one of you... Here. Well, Lena, you go over here finish this guy off. This has normal mode and hard mode. And you have to beat normal mode to unlock hard mode. Shoot! I should have had Melina do that. Because Melina is... packs a little bit more of a wallop. So instead, I think I'm gonna actually heal up Douglas. Douglas is one of those characters where if he dies, then he dies, because he's not carrying anything of value. But still, I'd prefer not to. I also probably definitely should have taken um, Rutger and or Deke and made them go down. Don't know why I didn't. This is, could be bad. Because Ruger and Deke are some of my best characters. Well, Deke is, anyways. I guess against a bunch of Lance units, they're not phenomenal, but... I think he was just streaming a different game. He was streaming, I think, uh... Either de he, he streams so many games that have Dead in the name. I can't remember if it's Dead by Daylight or... 13 days to die, or 7 days to die, whatever it is. Alright, uh... You know what I might do? I actually... Oh man, Elfin is down here as well. Or is up here as well, that was a mistake, most likely. Oh, doggone it, he has the freaking warp staff! Give me that. Give me the warp staff. How far away can I send Ruger? I can send him. Oh, that actually might be a good idea. I'm totally doing that. Yeah, I think seven days to die was the one. And there we go. Ellen was the first character on my team to cap her level. And she gets nothing. Well, I mean, technically, <laughs> Yoder was! No, you don't count. I didn't have to work for you. It's good to see Percival is doing what he does best. Nothing. <laughs> Even though Percival is widely regarded as one of the absolute best units in the entire game. I'm just waiting for the massive reinforcements to spawn on the top as well. That would be really bad. Very well could happen, though. Oh, yes, and Ruger can actually move. There we go. Nice job, Ruger. This feels like a massive escalation of, uh, tension as far as the maps are concerned. Alright, let's see what's in this village. This guy again! You're the Etrurian army, right? There are no soldiers here. I'll give you this, so just leave. Another Knight's Crest? 
Okay, wow. This is like... Definitely endgame, and now they're giving us all the Knight's Crests. Like, I literally went for like half the game, I'm like, I only have one Knight's Crest. Where are all the Knight's Crests? All the Knight's Crests are at like the very end of the game, so you can't actually use them all that well. That was dumb. Very dumb way of doing promotional items, Fire Emblem. Unless there's a massive amount of the game left that I'm not aware of. Oh, great. So this now welcome to Everybody Attacks Trek the turn. Trek is going to break his lance this turn. The sil that silver lance. Yeah. Knight's Crests are a wee bit more valuable in this game than they are in Wind Waker, though. <laughs> okay, um... I don't want Trek to... Okay, thank you, Trek. I'm actually really glad Trek did not kill that guy, because that means that's one fewer location that he can be attacked from. I might lose Trek this turn. Depends on how many enemies are able to attack him and how much damage they can rack up. I think the enemies that can rack up the most damage he won't be able to kill on Retaliation, so I think he'll be okay. Fingers crossed. But dear god, this is this is way too much. In case you're wondering, uh, enemy spam is generally not a very good thing to do. This is if you're wondering what how many enemies are too many enemies, this is too many enemies. And it's a case of every time you kill one, whoa, no. If um okay, well I don't think anybody else can attack Klein. Man, actually, Klein with a Knight's Crest, or Knight's Crest, Klein with a Angelica might be a decent idea. What are you supposed to do about this? Good lord. Well, if I do end up having to reset, I'll at least know for next time. I'm not going, I'm not going down the bottom route next time. I'm just taking everybody to the right. I'm going to ignore most of the enemies on this stage. How often am I going to post stuff on the community post? Whenever I feel like it. I don't like making a hard set schedule of like, I do it exactly this often. Most of the time I prefer using Discord. Uh, either that guy was one movement away from being able to attack uh, Klein, or he just made a very stupid move, because I'm pretty sure... Because if he was able to attack Klein, he definitely should have, if he wanted to cause the most devastation. Okay, we've got our work cut out for us. Alright, Percival, how do you fare again? Okay, not as well as I would have liked. So let's have Milady get the first strike. Are you sitting on thicket or uh, forest? You're sitting on plains. Interesting. Let's try the killer lance. Oh ho ho! Still not enough to kill in one hit, but still very impressive. Oof, that's a lot of damage. I might take advantage of that Holy Maiden staff on this level if, ne if necessary, because apparently that heals everybody on every part of the field, even if you're not within range, which is kind of stupid, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's... that's just too many. Nobody attacked Lance. Nobody. What's wrong with Lance? Not good enough for you? Everyone's just like, Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek must die. Actually, Star Trek barely took any damage. It's Klein who almost died. Thank you, Klein, for actually finishing the job this time. 
This is Klein with support bonuses, by the way. I just, just want to point that out. 94% chance to crit. Move aside. Chumps. Critger has arrived. Yep, this is one of those times I've got to be careful of what I do. There's one wrong move, and Lelina dies. <laughs> Slim Lance Douglas! <laughs> the meme actually paid off. That higher accuracy actually really helped him. That's fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna move Fa in there, but she's not going to attack. Okay, Bart Ray with arm ads is a terrifying force on the battlefield. That guy had almost no HP left, didn't he? Did I? I don't want to. I don't want to break my arm ads. Oh yeah, I, I've already used it five times. That's uh, <laughs> okay. <gasps> Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Oh, yes! One-shotting a Wyvern Lord with a Silver Lance. That's the stuff. Good job, Lolina. Okay, we definitely have to heal up. Klein. You know what I think I'm gonna... Okay. We'll heal up Klein with Chlorine. Here you go. Tina says hi. I am very familiar with the Disney scene on songs. The Disney sing along songs. Do, 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 do. Okay, this this time I'm actually not. I'm gonna equip Iron Axe with Trek. It would probably be helpful to have the dancer down there. Oh well. I think this is only like turn four or something, by the way. Because I'm just playing so slow. Just because these turns take forever. Yeah, I just. I prefer family friendly movies. I've never been into horror. I've never been into those, like, R rated movies that have gratuitous violence and or sex stuff. It's not me. Oh, great! So, no matter which direction we go in, massive amounts of wyverns appear. This is very bad. This is probably an instance of, like, yeah, you're not supposed to split up your army. No! I forgot to change Douglas's weapon. He's still Slim Lance Douglas. At least he won't kill anybody with that. Alright, Percival. Oof. Yeah, this is gonna be a long stream tonight, I think. But that's quite alright. Percival and Milady are just kicking butt up here. You have a bad feeling we're going to end up losing someone in this chapter? Oh, probably. But you know what? It has been many streams since we've actually had someone die. We've had a couple close calls. But I think the, la the last person who died was... Who was it? Oh. They can attack Sophia. That's not good. And if Sophia dies, there goes my... Super bad dark magic user. I, yeah, I, I'm more of just talking about the stream's gonna go long is bad for me because uh, I work early in the morning, so oh, didn't even have to worry about it. Sophia's, Sophia's got this covered. Yes, yeah, I green. I green was the last character who died. I am still sad about that because I green was so much better than Klein. She needed more bow rank training though. 
So maybe it's... I don't want to say maybe it's for the best that she died, but... Yeah, the, the only way for this is we need some really our really strong units to be able to hold the front lines and then just slaughter as many enemies as possible. Big Bird says you don't hit me. Uh-oh. I do not want Fa's Divine Stone running out. Dang, perfect level up for Fa. That is a perfect level up. I want more people to attack um, Trek rather than Fa. Fire Emblem presents Follow that Fa. <laughs> I'd watch it. I can't believe I brought free Paladins on this map. This goes against my Fire Emblem greed. I generally try using a variety of units, but man. <laughs> In this game, I have three good paladins, and they, I can bring a bunch of units, so why not? Just better follow that bird or Elmo in Grouchland. Probably follow that bird. That was a weird one. <laughs> Big Bird gets adopted by the family of Dodo Birds, and his name officially becomes Big Dodo. That was a that was a weird one. And like the quote unquote villain is like the the like orphanage director who like is, isn't really evil it's more just like doesn't understand that big bird is happy just living on his own in sesame street she's like no 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 he's he's an orphan he like needs a family it's like you're well meaning you're just you're not listening hey that describes most of society <laughs> you're well meaning but you're <laughs> you're not you don't understand <laughs> and you're not listening well rip percival's killer axe You asked that question in Pikmin 2, but I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Again, Pikmin 2, I can't always read chat in time before crazy stuff starts happening. Wow, imagine getting this legendary Thunder Axe and then missing with it. <laughs> hey, Vado, welcome. Based Chapter 21. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's very, very based. They just froze 800,000 units at you. At the same time. Oh, nice dodge, Douglas. Slim Lance Douglas! <laughs> the meme is real. Why are you attacking Big Bird more? <laughs> Did you not see what happened to your friends? Gesundheit! Well, at this rate, Fa is going to cap her level and break her Dragonstone. I'm happy about the first one of those. I hope the secret shop sells Divine Stones. I will buy two of them. Um, yeah, uh, this is bad. Fa's Divine Stone is about to crack. And, um, we don't have another one, and if her Divine Stone breaks... She's in trouble, because she no longer gets those crazy stat boosts. Finally, someone's attacking my lady. <laughs> wow, no crit from my lady. Really? Yeah, it just it surprises me. Okay, can we please just say no more with the ambush spawns of 800 promoted enemies with powerful equipment? That would be nice. Crit, crit, crit. I suppose I was f asking for too much. It's a good thing we've got Malay er, Ellen who can heal at a distance. Uh, okay, maybe you know maybe we need more than two units to take on all of these units. Maybe we should do a strategic retreat. Oh, you think you can attack Lalina? <laughs> hey, Lays Hawes, welcome. I'm, I think I pronounce your name differently every single time, so maybe one time I'll get it right. <laughs> Ambush... No, I hate ambush spawns. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lelina capped her magic. And got a really good level up. Oh, yeah. That, see, that speed wing's working for me. That one speed wing, I think, is making all the difference. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my gosh, it's fine. These turns last... Okay, I just want to check. We're on turn six. We've been playing this chapter for almost an hour, and we're only on turn six. That adds up, actually. All right, well, we're going to just keep on physicking up Milady to make sure she survives. Okay, I get... I. Okay, the first part I get, that second part... Le Jorez. I... Le Jorez? I'm going to say Le Jorez. Oh, no. I don't have a ranged weapon. Ew. That's not good. Here. I'm going to use Recover on Ellen. Even though she's only missing a little HP. <laughs> yeah, that adds up. Really? Ah, doggone it. Fire Emblem 6. Let's just keep going. Deke doesn't have any ranged weapons. It's true. Alright. Oh no! Only one use left. That's not good. Ah, uh, we might have a... They might end up breaking their weapons. Talk on it. That that get out always jump scares me. Even though I'm the one who purposefully made it. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering, like Artie, the get out's not that loud. It is ten decibels loud, louder for me on my end than it is for you on yours. Because of how my audio balancing works. Okay, Douglas needs a heal. Let's see if we can help him. No, he needs a heal. <laughs> Slim Lance Douglas can't survive. Oh, man, that didn't even heal. Clarine, your magic stat really leaves something to be desired. Okay. Let's try this! <laughs> I need more enemies to attack Lance. Lance, I'm not worried about. He has all the dodge. Take that, Mr. Divine Punisher. <laughs> he is to be... punished. Okay, uh, yeah, we probably should get far away from... Uh, no, no, okay, so here's... Hmm. All right. Thinking intensifies. What is the best way of doing this? I really don't want Foss still in the center of everything. But we may not really have a choice. Let's just break out some four blaze. Yeah, I'm not putting Roy on the front lines. I want to avoid resetting this chapter if possible. Although he is capped and... I mean, compared to my other units, he's not good, but for a capped Roy, he's got pretty good stats. Like, 14 speed, 14 strength, I'm very happy with that. His defense is a little lacking, I suppose, but yeah, I think I think he did very well. I need Star Trek to do more. Ugh, they're, t they're in every direction, though. Wait, what happened to my Steel Bow? No, I need my Steel Bow. No, I need my Steel Bow. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, 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 ye. That's actually bad. Who can actually? That's that Wyvern Lord. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. We're gonna keep. Mm, Elfin will survive in the forest, and I need him down there. And if Elfin don't survive, well, then I guess that's stream over. Alright. Uh, this sucks, man. This really freaking sucks. Rutger can become a new tank, actually, so hang on. 
We gotta pull Fa out of there. I'm gonna put Fa in front of Klein. Sophia, I'm gonna have you equip the Nosferatu for better survivability, and you're, I guess you'll heal up Alina. This is why big maps are bad. Eh, big maps aren't bad, it's just if you throw 800 million enemies at us, that's when things get a little dicey. Okay, now I'm gonna keep equipping that Iron Axe for the dodge. We're gonna go Silver Axe for the Weapon Triangle Advantage. Now at this point... I wish he was in range of all the good stuff, but he, okay. <sighs> yeah, only one enemy will be able to attack him at a time. So maybe I'll use... Hmm. I don't... Here's the feign. I don't want Ruker to die, but I also don't want Bart Ray to die. Might as well make use of Klein. Um, for the merger, I I hope I'm not lo spending the entire seed looking for the last item. That would be awful if I was. Really, Rutger? You know, for how often he has such a high chance to crit the Wodao, he so often just does not. Hand axe. Nah, I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna keep the Armads equipped, because why not? No, please stop! Gosh darn it! This is a ter this is a terribly designed chapter. It's just every turn, snap, fifty more wyverns appear, and they can move and attack in the exact same turn. And it it really doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. I gotta say, like Fire Emblem Six, as far as map design goes. It's had some real stinker chapters. Like, some real stinkers. Like, literally every single side quest chapter. Like, Fire Emblem 7 has had its stinkers, don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like a much higher proportion of Fire Emblem 6 chapters are bad. Nice, nice, bad per level up, Percival. Doggone it, Percival! You should have leveled up strength so you could one-shot these guys instead of wasting your Silver Lance. Uh, I've memorized all the locations, too. It's just a matter of where some things end up spawning. Like, if you put off doing the, sp the Swamp Sculptula House until the very end, because you are hoping that nothing will be there, but so there's something there, like, it doesn't matter if you knew that was a possible location. It just matters which ones you happen to do and where the stuff happens to be. I'm playing Pikmin 2 on the native GameCube. I think I've said this many times now. I really wanted to get Rutger in the woods, so he would just dodge everything. I also have another Wodao, in case this one breaks, so I'm not I'm not afraid of this one breaking. <sighs> I think I'm gonna turn off combat animations for Percival. Cause it's just the enemies attacking him over and over and over again. Yeah, like this this is ridiculous. I am, I am really surprised they have not hit the unit cap yet, because there is a unit cap in Fire Emblem. I think... I want to say you can only have 50 units out at once. Or maybe that's just Advance Wars. But I sure feel like there have been times on this map where they there should not have been any more units allowed to spawn. Gotta make sure we don't break our mats. Gotta make sure we don't break our mats. I feel like the legendary weapon should have had more uses. 
Oh no, you can't attack Roy. Oh shoot. Uh, don't crit, thank you. Actually, even if he crit, he wouldn't have killed it. Wait, no, don't kill Roy. Thank goodness. I didn't think Roy was in any danger of dying. But apparently he was. It's okay. Roy proved he was better than people say. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the level design in this, as far as enemy spawning and placement, was just very, very lazy. It's like, let's just throw... Like, I looked at the map to begin with, I'm like, okay, so there's some strong units, but they shouldn't be too bad, and then it's just like, oh, no, no, we're spawning in 20 Wyvern Lords every turn. I'd be royally screwed if I lost him, huh? huh. Like, I think the legendary weapons have less durability in this than they do in Fire Emblem 7, and in Fire Emblem 7, you literally only get them for one chapter. It's very stupid. You fool. What are you doing? Ellen will destroy you. Ouch. It's okay. Sophie is better than that. This is why I had her equip that Nosferatu. <laughs> my favorite and least favorite character in Arthur. Ooh. For my favorite character? Mm. Tough one. Gonna have to go with Mr. Ratburn. At least off the top of my head, Mr. Rappern is such a great and quotable character. Uh, as for my least favorite? Out of, like, the major characters, gonna have to go with DW. But, I mean, like, I don't think that's that controversial of an opinion. I think this is gonna be the turn we use one of them Holy Maiden staves. Double crit gets the job done. I like Mr. Rappern's evolution from, like, he's the, like, really strict, like, scary teacher to more, like, he's actually, like, a really good teacher. Like, he's he teaches advanced stuff. He's definitely, like, tough on the kids, but, like, that's ultimately for their benefit. DW is a weird case because it feels like DW is a totally different character just depending on who wrote the episode. Because, like, some episodes DW is just kind of, like, she's the annoying young sibling, but, like, she's not, like, a bad kid. She's just, like, likes getting a rise out of Arthur. There are some episodes where it's like, Dude, he's actually just like a very sympathetic young kid. Like, again, she's just a kid. And she'll grow out of it. And then there are some episodes where it's like, D.W. has literally zero redeeming qualities. And it's basically female Caillou. So there we go. I think that heals up everybody fully. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're finally seeing the end of stuff down here. This is good. Okay, we can finish all this up down here. Oh, no Slim Lance Douglas. Oh, the 1% crit. Okay, I can't believe it. We're finally seeing the end of this these monstrous waves of enemies. All right, Klein. Man, Klein is not very good. Really wish I still had Eye Green. But oh well, he's he's acceptable, I guess. Now we can start making our way over to Murdoch. We're still well within the 30 turn time limit. Lance is tired of not having any more stuff to do. Please finish him, Lance. Also, it looks like we didn't need that barrier staff after all, Putt Putt. I don't think Lance's barrier staff did anything for him. He got strength! Yay! By the way, I just want to point out, I've given Lance at least one, I think Poss actually two energy rings. So, yeah, just chew on that. <laughs> Wait. 
Okay, let's let's not throw Molina in the middle of a bunch of uh, powerful enemies. <laughs> this is that's literally the last stand axe. <laughs> Because for some reason, after, like, the beginning of the game, no stores sell them. So, like, if you want hand axes, you literally have to stock up on them in advance. How far can you move, Elfin? Uh, you can move decently far. Alright, I think Star Trek? Nah. I mean, Star Trek, yes, but... Star Trek, you finish off this guy. ho oh ho Dang it, I should have had Star Trek attack the, uh, Wyvern Lord. Rats! Again, I'm- I don't- Yeah, I can't- I cannot put Lolina there. I think I can put Sophia here if I have her use Nosferatu, though. Yep, early game, every axe user has a hand axe, except you. This is where Nosferatu tanking will be very useful. Especially if we have Fa in support range. Should have had her heal. Wait, no! Oh no! Not my thief! Well, actually, Astol can die. I don't want him to, but he can. I just realized that uh, I didn't block up the way, and now he is in range, and they are definitely going to attack him twice. Well, that's the way. Do we have a rescue staff over here somewhere? Who has the rescue staff? It's Elfin, isn't it? I gave a rescue staff to somebody! I think I gave a rescue staff to No, I swear I gave it to somebody. I gave it to Fa, and she's down here. Rats! How is that letting I green down? She's got nothing to do with Astol. <laughs> or Astor, or whatever his name is. It would be letting I green down if I let Fa die. I'm fine, dying. Level up! Alright, Thaney. Dang! Okay, yeah. All it, all it had, all it took was an Elysian Whip for her to start getting strength. Oh, <laughs> I just want to point out, she came in with full equipment. Milady, all of Milady's equipment when I started this level was maxed out, and now all of it's about to break, pretty much. How many peanut specials have I seen? A lot of them. Seen the two Christmas ones. I've seen Valentine's Day, Easter Beagle, Great Pumpkin, the, t the terrible Valentine's Day special. <laughs> and by terrible, I mean like the message is like your dreams don't come true. Everything sucks. Give up. Which I guess is you know kind of fitting for a uh, Charlie Brown. Nice miss, Percival. And he even had a long bow too. Yes, please keep shooting Milady from the forest with the Lombo when you can't even damage her with it. I'm just gonna speed for some of this. Uh, yeah, it's getting late. I need to start speeding for some of this. I should probably turn off combat animations. I said I was gonna do that for um, Percival last turn, but I didn't. I'm just a lying lie face. Okay, it may not be the end of Astol. If he dodges one of those attacks, he dies. Or Astor. I can't remember his name. Way to go, Sophia. See, guys? She's good. You just have to baby her up and pump her full of stat boosters, and she's good. <laughs> she was fun to use, to be fair. I think Sophia's gonna break her Nosferatu this turn, which is not great, but, well, there we go. 
Nice job, Sophia. You guys do realize, though, that if, um, if, if Astol dies... Okay, he, he should be good. I was gonna say, if Astol dies, I have to use Calf. Or I guess I could also use Chad. I would probably use Calf, though. <laughs> Just invest in Sophia Coin, yeah. The best alternate cur currency. I mean, why would you use coins that have old guys wearing wigs on, on the coins when you could have coins that have pretty girls' faces on instead? That's the real question. Dang, Sophia dodged everything! I didn't even need to give her Nosferatu. Alright, and she level up. Nice! Which is better, Onward or Soul? Um... Oh, wait, no! Whoa! What a boss! I didn't realize that that guy could one-shot out, so he dodged anyways. Get absolutely wrecked. I would argue that Soul is a better movie, and that I enjoyed it more. Onward wasn't bad, but it... Onward just seemed to, like, to lack that Pixar magic. It seemed a little uninspired. And, I mean, I was a little disappointed by Soul, too. I thought it was going to go in a much more emotional direction, and it didn't. Which was kind of surprising to me. Alright, we... <laughs> yep. I thought for sure Astol was dead. I thought for sure... All right, classic Deke level up, HP, strength, and speed. That's all you really need. All right. <sighs> Let's break out the Malter. Or I'm sorry, the Malte. Wait, they called it the Mart Ray, like Bart Ray. Now it's Malte. I'm confused. Get wrecked though. Alright, please crit. Thank you, Percival. I can't believe we're doing it, but we're finally thinning out the enemy hordes. Alright, we can't get too cocky, though, Star Fox. I don't want to put Ellen in danger. Also, when are these guys going to move so I can go to the secret shop? Got a knight's crest to sell and everything. I could kill that guy with, uh... Him, but no. I think I'm gonna kill him. Okay, this could be bad if Barry misses both. Nah, he's fine. I didn't want to use any more arm ads. I, I should probably save it. Okay. Oh, hey, Klein. This is perfect timing. You can definitely kill this guy. It is nice having powerful bow users to take out a lot of these wyverns, but they just they can't kill as all the ones that appear. My name is Lelina. Here, meet my air caliber. Okay, I am I am glad that I brought Douglas instead of Merlinus. <laughs> that was a good call. Nosferatu has free uses left. Yeah, that adds up. Oh, the Cav Bros are doing so well. Oh yes, Star Trek is on fire! That's the only no deaths run that I'm planning on Twitch. I can say that. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Let's give him his Slim Lance back. He's been missing it. Oh yeah, we also gotta watch out for Bolting Mage. He could be bad news bears. But Critger needs to go over towards the boss. Actually, wait, we have... Oh, we're only on eight. Turn eight. That's funny. <laughs> Goodbye. 
<laughs> oh yeah. I can't I can't believe again. It was sad when Alan died. I'm in the long run, I'm kind of glad for it though, because I would never would have used Star Trek without Alan if Alan had survived. And uh <laughs> Star Trek! Look at those stats! He's freaking amazing! <laughs> I think I've gotten ridiculously RNG blessed with Trek, but... It may, it may be a case of uh, me using Bart Ray in Fire Emblem 7 the first time, where I'm like, Oh my gosh! Bart Ray's amazing! He has like 20-something speed, he's super powerful, he can just wreck anything in one round! And I'm like, oh, he starts with free speed and has a 40% speed growth? Oh yeah, I got speed blessed big time. <laughs> I think that has kind of permanently cemented in my mind that he's better than Dorcas. But even if you look at, like, his the averages, he's still better than Dorcas. <laughs> Trek speed is so above average. Yeah, he's got, I think, 17 or 18 speed. Let me, let me just... Oh, wait, that's Lance. Yeah, he's got 17 speed. 21 strength and 18 defense. He has almost as much speed as defense. Which is, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Least favorite Nickelodeon show. That's, um, very tough to say. I definitely don't like what they've done with Blue's Clues. For a variety of reasons. Like, Blue's Clues should, should always be 2D. You know... Don't don't try making it like 3D or like redesigning it. Like no. <laughs> Trek is the free res mage killer. That's I guess one way of looking at it. Oh, my kingdom for a hand axe. These guys the stupid guys are hanging out on the thick, it's like uh, they can't hit us. <laughs> For some reason, we can't move on those woods, either. Alright, I don't care. I'm, we're using the malt that... I'm sorry, the malt hay. Like Zoink Scoop, we're going to the malt shop! <laughs> That's actually what it is. It's the malt shop. Alright, I don't... I'm out of here. If we leave them alone... They'll have to attack Milady. Oh wait, don't want them attacking Yodel. I don't have confidence that Yodel can defend himself. Keep in mind, I haven't watched a lot of Nickelodeon shows. So most most Nickelodeon shows that I've seen, I'm like, they're fine, they're just not for me. Oh, I also... Mm. Rugrats was Nickelodeon, right? I'm pretty sure Rugrats was Nickelodeon. I was not a fan of Rugrats. The art style was just so ugly. Like, I get it was probably supposed to, It was, like, stylistic, but, like, it was ugly. Yeah, Rugrats was on Nickelodeon. I have, I have no idea what the content of that show would include. Because, again, never really saw it. I just remember... <laughs> the Orphodonis that I went to growing up, they had... They would often, like, have, like, cartoon characters on the wall painted with braces. And they had the Rugrats characters. Even though they're literal babies with braces, I'm just like, this is weird. Like, are you advocating giving, like, intensive, intrusive dental work on actual, like, infants? I was eight years old when I was thinking about it now. Then eventually they had the Scooby-Doo characters, and, like, the, the Scooby-Doo characters had braces, but, like, they were off-model Scooby-Doo characters. I bet the Rugrats characters were off-model, but because the Rugrats had such a loose and weird art style, you didn't notice it as much. But for the Scooby-Doo characters, because I grew up with Scooby-Doo and I was very familiar, I'm like, yeah, that, that, uh, that Shaggy is a little bit off. <laughs> Just a tad. Okay, we... What I want to do... Okay, this is ridiculous. Ellen, murder this guy. I, again, I don't want to jinx it. It looks... I think the worst of this is over. Unless they bring out more reinforcement spawns. Oh, she's so close to S rank. 
I think Ellen is literally gonna get be able to use Ariola on like the last chapter and only the last chapter. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> like Scoob, I really want to go to the malt shop. They've got great, powerful lances there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We can go there soon. Do 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 do. Oh, shoot, I should have barriered up, uh, Rutger. Okay, we're still all out of range. Oh, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm actually gonna put... Oh, I Let's see if that guy moves. If I move Clarine down here, will he move to use Bolting? And good, we are out of range of the mana keats. That's that's a relief. Yeah, I I grew up I grew up with like these educational children friendly uh, TV shows. So like things like SpongeBob. Yeah, that was not something I grew up with. Cause like I guess I guess SpongeBob is like technically kid friendly. But, like, it was definitely more crude than a lot of the shows that I was watching. So, that was not really something that we did in our house. <laughs> okay. No, so far so good. Gotta kill the Manakeets. What Fire Emblem class would Shaggy be? Ah, uh, good question. Two uh, percent crit again, and Rutger doesn't even one round. What if? And we can't even get. Okay, change of plans. We're not doing that. That's right, Rooker for some reason really struggles taking down those Manikeets. Alright, well you know who doesn't? The hero named Deke. Deke has Durandel and he'll be perfectly happy to take him out. Oh yes, and we have four blades for this other guy over here. This is gonna be fantastic. Also, I kind of want to get the Fa Elfin support. I've been trying to get it for a long time, and they just will not talk to each other. <laughs> Elfin's like, I've seen what's happened to the other, like, man young Manakeet female characters in other Fire Emblem games. I'm not going to be accused of being a lobby. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shaggy, as far as Fire Emblem classes, he would probably... Probably like a Cavalier, but the horse he rides is Scooby. Um, Marty and I are quite familiar with Dora the Explorer. No question about that. <laughs> she had like 20 Dora VHSs growing up, and we have like three Dora the Explorer PC games. You, you say that, but here's the thing. Ruger has gotten killed by a 2% critical hit from a Manakeet before. So I'm really not risking it again. Oh, what's that? Durandel can kill him in one hit? Why, yes, we will be using Durandel. Because I ain't taking chances with that. You know, when I was going up against enemy Manakeets for the first time, I'm like, oh, we are so screwed. Actually, once you have the tools, they're not too bad, especially since they can't attack at two range. Observe. Goodbye. I guess I never thought about the Scooby-Doo characters being in Fire Emblem. I've more thought about the Redwall characters being in Fire Emblem. Okay, great. One skill. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. So, we technically, yes, did have R for VHSs, but not in the way you might be thinking. See... They didn't make a whole lot of R for VHSs, so what we did, we did the old school way. Whenever R for went on TV, we would have a large blank 
VHS, and we would record Arthur manually on that. So we have, like, a couple of VHS tapes that are homemade, basically homemade, with us recording Arthur footage, but it recorded Arthur footage off of uh, TVs that were very staticky, so it still has the static in it when we watch it back. So it's a real blast to the past. We were, I think we recorded Arthur and Magic School Bus on these VHSs. Scrappy-Doo as a mannequin? No, Scrappy-Doo is not worthy of being called a mannequin. <laughs> We, we had our first perfect Christmas as a VHS. I guess that counts. Our library would have Arthur DVDs, where it would be like, Oh, this DVD has, like, free Arthur episodes on it, and we would rent those a lot. I guess that counts. I suppose that counts. Scene, scene, scene! Puppy power! <laughs> oh, Scrappy-Doo. What a goon. Okay, I, hang on. I, <laughs> I can't wait to face Murdoch with Rutger and with the Armor Slayer surrounded by. Uh, what? Oh, yeah! Him! Alright, let's go. Crush them all. Leave none alive. Show the enemy the wrath of the Dragon Masters of Burn. No! You can't do that! What the heck? That literally just spawned in five enemies next to Thaney with no warning, and now they're going to kill her. And they're going to surround her. Yeah, that's that's what you get. That is what you get. You can't freaking do that. You can't just spawn in enemies in the middle of nowhere with no indication that enemies will spawn there. And no warning that enemies will spawn there. Especially when it's right next to the secret, the secret shop. This is so dumb. Um, I've seen probably 30 minutes of the live-action Scooby-Doo movie. I, kn I know who the bad guy is, and it's... Weird, but also kind of funny. Okay, well, I guess I didn't need to... Well, never mind. Thaneys is wiping the floor with them. Scooby-Doo and Ghoul School, the Boo Brothers, and the Reluctant Werewolf? Um... I have not seen at least two out of those three. Is one of those ones the one with, like, the weird skeleton who's, like, planting traps in this weird haunted house and... I think it was the first one of those. Shaggy was wearing a red shirt for some reason. I'm in danger! Okay, please, please kill. Thank you. That was actually a very risky thing to mo do. If, if Alina missed, she would probably be dead. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, if only I had some ranged weapons. Okay, I bet you. So this is Gale. He has a spear. I bet you we can recruit Gale with a um, lady. Well, shoot. Okay. Well, first I want to see what's in the secret shop. Okay, promotional items. Why would anybody want promotional items this late in the game? I mean, again, I don't know when the end of the game is, but this definitely feels like it's one of those end game chapters. Like, if you have if you have units that you're trying to promote that you haven't promoted at this point, like, you're probably playing it wrong. Do we have anything else? Oh boy, we got more angelic boo. This is the best shop in the history of video games. What? You can buy any stat booster you want. You can buy boots. You can buy speed wings. Oh, oh man. Okay, I got to think about this. Okay, we're not buying angelic robes. We bought like three of them. Uh, okay, we're not buying goddess icons. That's stupid. These are for four thousand. Four thousand a piece. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is. This is, this is, this is crazy. Hey, Dodd. Hey, hey, Dodd, a second. I can buy, I can buy 13 stat boosters based on the amount of money I have. I can buy 13 stat boosters. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Gotta think what to spend. Okay, so I'm definitely buying some speed wings. 
Some for Valina, some for Sophia. We're definitely buying some boots. <laughs> Definitely buying some boots. Uh, do we need it? I don't think we really need an energy rain at this point. I'm gonna make Sophia really fast. <laughs> All right, if one last stab booster again, I did. You can't go wrong with boots. You can't. I might have screwed myself up because I have no money. Oh, I have a knight's crest I can sell as well. Should have done that. Well. There are also, you know, weapons that maybe I should buy. But nah, we can, I can make do on weak weapons. Okay. Is Trek literally the only character who has a ranged weapon? I wish my Nosferatu had more uses. Worst case, Yodel can use another one of his Holy Maiden staves. Okay, wow. They, I can't believe there's actually a shop in this game that sells a bunch of stat boosters. That's completely nuts. Buy all the boosters. Yeah, I wanted some Speedwings. Because, again, it, I think it'll just be hilarious to give a bunch of Speedwings to Sophia and maybe, like... Maybe Bart Ray. Make Bart Ray super duper fast. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I'm not going to be late for work. I have flexible work. I can start anywhere between 6.30 and 9. I just like starting at 6.30 or 7. But I made it this far. I'm. Here's the thing. I'm not going to speed up and be like, I gotta rush, 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 just because I got work tomorrow. Because if I do that, I'm probably going to make mistakes. And if I make mistakes, I will lose time. Because I will have to reset. You see how it how it works? Alright, Percival, you move down here just to protect Valina some. Trek, you move over here to protect Valina some. Lance, you move down here and make sure that she has Nosferatu equipped just to give her better survivability. You can't rush art. Exactly. That is exactly correct. Gonna make sure that Chlorine... I'll put Chlorine right here. She's just in range of Ruger for that support bonus. Play a song for Deke so that he can also potentially get in support range. No, not quite. And here's the thing. Okay, I need to keep my lady close to Gale so she can recruit. Fanny will survive. Oh yeah, she's still got 40 HP. <laughs> Alright, this I think you should be fine. Any more re Okay. 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 That's not fun. Why would you do this? Oh, hey! You're gonna use Bolting on Elfin. That's fine. You can waste your Bolting on Elfin. You're not gonna hit him. I love how Thaney has ridiculously high dodge, despite the fact that she can't get evasion from terrain. Okay, if I knew how long this level was gonna be and how many enemies they would throw, I would have ended the stream early. <laughs> but you know what? We're in it to win it now. Nice job, Thaney. Way to hold your own. Uh-oh, that's bad. Now she only has a sword left, which means she's going to be at weapon triangle disadvantage. Okay, thank you for having the weaker guys attack her. Yeah, I probably should save some money for, you know, weapons and stuff. Oof. Dane. Wow. Okay, Thane, I'm really glad you dodged all this. I have definitely gotten very lucky on a lot of these dodges. <laughs> but you know what? It's only fair, because the game just gets to throw infinite enemies at me. 
All right, Percival, let's see a nice big crit. All right, Percival, let's see a nice big crit. That was not nice or big or a crit. Well, I guess it was kind of nice. That guy is literally just like, I'm attacking Melina. If I can't attack Melina, I'm not attacking anybody. That's a lot of dragons flying over here. That's a lot of dragons flying over here. I, and here's the thing. Normally I'd be like, oh, I'll just, you know, kill the boss and the reinforcements will stop. No, that's apparently not how it works in Fire Emblem 6. Reinforcements still appear after you kill bosses, which is really, really stupid. They have nothing to fight for anymore, but they're just like, ha ha. And they're all just hanging out on the freaking mountains like little twerps. Alright. I don't like this position for Lelina. So we're gonna we're, I think we have to evacuate Lelina out of here. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on Family Guy and Bob's burgers. Apparently they're one TV show now. Uh so I'll start with the easy one. So Bob's Burgers, I've only seen one episode. It was the first episode. Was not a fan. Its humor just did not work for me. Don't really see why people like it a lot, but I mean, hey, teach their own, I suppose. Family Guy, I think, is like the stupidest. No, it's not the stupidest thing ever. American Dad is the stupidest thing ever. Family Guy, though, I'm just like, why does this exist? This doesn't... This literally just seems to be vulgar for vulgarity's sake. And that's not how I roll. Okay, how many guys can attack Roy? Only one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> nah, you don't, you don't need a barrier up. That's okay. Okay. Oh yeah, over here. All right, Gail. Gail, milady. Gail, I do not speak. You and I are both loyal knights. We both fight for whom we have pledged our service to. That is all. Milady, this is probably the end, so let me say this. Milady, I am truly grateful that I was able to meet you. We trained our skills together and we fought alongside each other. Milady, the days I spent with you those were the happiest days of my life. Me. Mine too. Goodbye, my lady. I always wish that we had met in a more peaceful time. Gale. Wait! Gale! Don't go! Gale! Oh, wait, we don't get to recruit him, so I just wasted my turn doing that. Thank goodness for Kanto. And Boots. Ah, uh, it's tragic, but it's too perfect not to do. Sorry, Gale. It was a perfect kill. God wanted me to do it. I have no regrets. Zeus, take care of my lady. That he seemed so much like a unit that you could recruit. He was built up as being this like sympathetic guy who was working for Burn, and then it's just like, oh, oh, you're, he's dead. And here's the thing: if my lady couldn't recruit him, nobody could. You like Armads? There you go. How's that for Armads? Gale is gone, but not forgotten. I wish he was here and on my team, though. I really could have used another flying unit. Nice, speedy Bartre. Okay. Uh, unless I can give you a lance, which I don't think I can. I mean, I will say. I mean. This level is definitely forcing me to take tactical decisions of, like, splitting up my army, getting strong units in the right area, using the right weapons. I just... Yay! One speed! I'm gonna give all my speed wings to Douglas. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be stupid. I can't... I can't move in, Klein. Because if I do, he'd probably die. <laughs>
Is that really all I can do? Who has my land? Oh. Give me that. Yodel, move back. Again, I don't want you getting in the way. Only nine uses on that Divine Stone. I'm getting a little bit worried. I'll move him in range of Lolina so they get that support bonus. Can we please stop with the reinforcements? This is like the 800th reinforcement. At this rate, all my legendary weapons are going to break. This is like Cog of Destiny, but worse. Oh no. Axe Reaver. Oh no. Armads. <laughs> like, I'm a little worried. So I'm worried about the Divine Stone. I'm also worried about the Armads. Not really the Malt Shop. Because the Malt Shop had max... Well, actually, I think Armads had max uses as well. I have not used the Malt Shop as much as I've used Armads. Oh no, I... Uh, I just realized... How many enemies are going to attack Bar... Armads only has, I think, 10 uses. I think if every if every single enemy attacks Bart Ray, I think Armads might break. And I if Armads breaks, I need to reset. Because apparently if Armads breaks, then you you need all the legendary weapons to get the good ending, apparently. So if one of them breaks, I'm pretty sure that means you can't get the good ending. Which is really dumb because the legendary weapons only have twenty uses, so like you can't really use them that much. So why give them to us if we can't use them? Okay, I'm actually... Thank you. Thank you for not attacking Bar Ray. Please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked! Okay, we got we got to get Bar Ray out of there. Not because I'm afraid of Bar Ray. It's because I'm afraid of the... the <laughs> Armads. I mean, Percival, you're good, but... You know, you... You're no... You're no Trek. You're no Star Trek. Speaking of Star Trek... Oh, look at that! Perfect KO! And he's using a weaker axe! If I have to reset for anything, that will be the end of the stream. You think I'm doing this, like, two-hour chapter again tonight? <laughs> Absolutely not. No freaking way. Also, Roy better promote soon. He's been at level 20 for, like, half this playthrough. Okay, that time, Trek does not want round. No! my All my weapons are breaking. Probably because this game makes me face 500,000 enemies. Oh, wow. That's 162 damage right there. <laughs> with one attack. <laughs> Darn it, if that was the Silver Lance instead, that guy would be dead. Yeah, if if a weapon is glowing... Oh, 1% crit, nice. If a weapon is glowing, then that means it's dealing effective damage. Effective damage means that the weapon that you're carrying will have triple the power. So, Air Caliber is effective against... Well, you know, okay, if Percival dies, I'm perfectly fine with that. Wow. Double... So I got hit by a 56 and then missed two 66s. Sure. Yeah. So that's glowing. That means it's dealing effective damage because Air Calibur is an effective weapon against any flying unit. And then the arrows pointing mean... <laughs> the arrows mean you either have weapon triangle advantage or disadvantage. So, swords have an advantage against axes, axes have an advantage against lances, and lances have an advantage against swords. That's how it works. Uh, do I want to use a yodel? Not really. Okay, how many uses does our... 
Oh. Okay, Armads was not in as much danger as I thought it was. I mean, I still am definitely going to use a different weapon, but... Yeah. Ironically, that line comes from a Fire Emblem game. Just a much newer one. I gotta say, giving the Brave Lance to Douglas was a really good move. Because then even a Slowpoke like him can double. <laughs> Okay, these... Yeah, I, I'm not afraid. Those guys can handle it. Say goodbye. I hate all these guys that are just hanging out down here. Oh, this is perfect! She breaks her flux, and then she'll have her Nosferatu. Should have given her another Nosferatu. When was the last time I watched a movie on VHS? Oh, years ago. Not as long ago as, as I might think. Let's see. Last movie I saw on VHS... Mm. That's a tough one, actually. We barely have working VHS players anymore. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I got a Physic Up Percival. Probably a Disney movie. I, I, no, I think it'll probably be more of something like um, one of the Star Wars prequels, which we have predominantly on VHS. <laughs> That's honestly probably the more accurate answer. I'm confident that Douglas and Bart Ray can hold... Eh, unless another... Warm of them spawns. I don't want to put Thaney in the harm's way of a hundred million guys anymore, though. So let's not. And I also think uh, seeing in a psalm from a lady is the proper thing to do. Once again, I have to watch out for my weapon uses. What movie did me and Marty watch the most on VHS? Ooh. Probably Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh? That's definitely one of our most watched VHS tapes. It's a very, very good movie. Or Toy Story 1. I mean, Toy Story 1 is just so doggone good. Okay. You know what? Roy, you've been holding on to that light brand for kind of a long time. How about letting somebody else use it? That does not do nearly as much damage as I want it to. Okay, but at least we can kill one of these guys over here. Ooh, Emperor's New Groove is a great one as well. I can't remember if we had that one on VHS or on DVD. Kind of blurs the lines a bit. Zeke is always rushing in to get these kills with the Steel Axe, and I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> oh, yes. Trek murder this guy. I really hope that this is that there are no more ambush spawns, because seriously, it's getting completely out of hand. It's bad enough that there are, like, reinforcements. It's bad enough that the reinforcements can move the same turn that they spawn in. It's bad enough that, <laughs> like, they are appearing every turn, but it's really bad that there's, like, five of them, five groups of them that are appearing every turn. It's not even just one group. Okay. Okay, cool. Not all of them can even reach Roy. Wonderful. I guess Fa, you can stay. Your Dragonstone's not going to die. Okay, thank goodness. That seems to be the last of them. No, not my lance. Ha! Ah. Eat it. Ugh. 
This boss fight is gonna be so cathartic. I mean, I don't really want... I don't think Murdoch is particularly evil. I think he's just pledged his loyalty to the wrong uh, kingdom. And, like, he was a good guy in Fire Emblem 7, but, so I'm gonna feel bad fighting him, but also, uh, you know, <laughs> duty calls. And uh, he had an incredibly unfair fight. <laughs> an unfair map, so... <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, Douglas is master of dodging that second 68% chance to hit. That's the second time he's done that. What are you doing? Do you not see the weapon I'm carrying? How long is the boss going to take? Hopefully one round, because I'm actually... I feel like... Well, no, Ruker probably won't be able to one round him, but he'll be able to come close. All right, here we go. Now we'll use Fa. It's more reliable. Take that. Only eight uses left of that Divine Stone, though. So we gotta be careful. Ah, she is so cute, though. Boss is not going to take nearly as long as the rest of this level. Man, Bartrek really coming in handy. I am digging him. I love how I trained up like two fighters, but the only one who I actually promoted was the guy who was already promoted. Okay, I... Ellen needs light magic, okay? She needs that light magic rank. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, you could have saved about a thousand arty bucks, but it's okay. I appreciate you nonetheless. Alright, now we march. We march to victory! We'll bury her up, Ruker. He's got that light brand. Ruker with the Armor Slayer, if Clarine and Deke are near him, is going to be ridiculously good against Murdoch. La 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 la. Maybe I should have bought some uh, dragon shields from the secret shop. Oh, actually, speaking of secret shop. Okay, well, first we need to get rid of this guy. One way or another, we're getting rid of that guy <laughs> next turn. But I just really, yeah, Astol will be able to steal Knight's Crest from Murdoch, and we can potentially sell that to the secret shop, and maybe buy one or two more. No, 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 Artie. You need to save those for buying weapons. That's what you need to do. Because if I if I run out of weapons, I literally can do nothing. You dare use Bolting against my lady? I'll have you know that she ran... She can run this country. Alright, well, you're a fool, Harry Potter. Get the guy with Bolting out of here, and then the rest of this should be... within reach. And we're still well within the time... Well... Turn 17! Okay, I mean, the, the, the turns are... Counting up fast. Let's see, you got Horse Slayer, and you've got... Ha! Oh, thank goodness that they have low movement. I was going to be They can kill me! Do I seriously not have... Oh, doggone it. Okay. Here, Ellen. Here, here. Take, um... Take the Tina Staff.
I'm still... I can't, I can't even celebrate yet. Because I just know there could be more bullcrap hanging around the next corner. I love how we have, like, the two super muscly dudes up here with, like, the little girl. <laughs> and they were all, like, doing a great job of holding down the fort. That was great. My, my one thing, Ellen. Ellen needs to get that S rank in Light Magic. I mean, she doesn't need to, but I really want her to. Is there a Disney movie I didn't know? Oh, there were lots of Disney movies I didn't own on VHS. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've broken all of Milady's equipment. <laughs> That's funny right there. Uh, I didn't own Bambi, did not own Dumbo, did not own a lot of those package films made during the World War II era. No 101 Dalmatians. Still haven't seen 101 Dalmatians. Because <laughs> I was going through, like... Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a really bad idea. I mean, it's not as bad of an idea as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a bad idea. Alright. Again, I'm just waiting for those more hordes to spawn in. It'll be terrible if they do! Here, yeah, so here's... I was going on, like, a pilgrimage, basically, to watch all of the Disney... The, the entries to the Disney animated canon that I had not seen before. And I watched a whole bunch of them. I think there are only... So at this point, there are, I think, four. No, five... There are five numbered Disney movies in the animated canon that I have not seen. So, two of them are Ray of the Last Dragon and Encanto. Those are the two newest ones. I have not seen those. I have not seen... All of Make Mine Music. I've seen parts of it. I have not seen all of it. I have not seen Saludos Amigos, which is like Free Caballeros, but with Goofy. And I haven't seen 101 Dalmatians. And my plan was, I'm like, okay, I'm going to see 101 Dalmatians last, because that's... This was before Rey and Encanto came out when I started this. I was like, I'm going to save 101 Dalmatians for last, because I'm pretty sure that'll be a good one. So, like, you know, like, end on a high note and all that. Problem was, well stuff happened, and now I haven't been watching them like I was originally wanting to. Do I own Disney Plus? Um... No, but my brother does. I... I rarely ever use it, though. Okay. Next turn is gonna be epic. Next turn will be epic. We're gonna actually start taking on this dumb old boss. I'm aware I could watch 101 Dalmatians at any time, I'm just choosing not to. Saving it for the right time. Oh, also, shoot, yeah, we need to actually use Astol to steal that thing. Alright, next turn should be epic. Oh, this is definitely the longest Fire Emblem 6 stream I've done on Twitch. Okay. Oh, sweet! He even has a free spot. Might as well steal the Knight's Crest! Now we rescue him and get him out of the way. Alright, cool. So, first off... Oh, 97% crit, that's great. Armor Slayer. Alright, here we go. Hmm... You made it this far. I congratulate you, but can you defeat me? Yep. Like, not this turn, but... Oh, never mind! Yes, this turn! 
<laughs> Bye, Murdoch. Gah! You are strong. Zephyr, my king, I cannot protect you any further. Forgive me! You have cool music, but Critger made short work of you. The Armor Slayer is crazy good. Get out. <laughs> that was well-timed. Okay, I really just... No, forget supports. Screw supports. We're just seizing the throne, and we're ending this. I can't believe it. We've... That was a long freaking battle, but we did it. Good lord, though. Master Roy, there's a path leading underground. Does that mean the Sword of Seals is in there? I don't know. But I heard from a captive that, uh, there, that there lies two things inside the temple. Does that mean that there's another divine weapon? Possibly. Perhaps we should ask those from our army who are natives of Bern. Alright, I'll check with them. Thank you, that was a tough chapter. Oh my gosh! Okay, cool, cool. Next chapter is chapter 21X, The Silencing Darkness. That's where we're getting, I think, the final legendary you know the weapon. Thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. So I guess next time we're going in deep into the Temple of Seals and we're getting, I think, the ultimate dark magic of the game and the Binding Blade. Which is going to be good. I think that'll be all the legendary weapons, unless there's the legendary staff. But I'm pretty sure that the Holy Maiden staff Yodel started with is the legendary staff, so... That's cool. Alright. Well, that stream went on much, much, much longer than my usual... Yeah, that literally was double the length of my what I usually do for a weekday stream. But that was a lot of fun. And I think we're very close to the end of the game, because we've killed off basically all of the villains except for Zephiel. And we have basically all of the uh, legendary weapons. <laughs> Thank you. So, next time, we're going to continue this Wednesday. And I don't know how long the side quest takes, but... I mean, there maybe we get to the end of the game next stream? I don't know, but we'll just have to wait and find out. No promises, one way or the other, but I'll just do what I can, and it's going to be fun. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for tuning in and chatting with me. This is a lot of fun. It's always great having people in Twitch chat. In the meantime, though, i got to stop. <laughs> got to stop and get ready for bed. So, until we meet again, my friends, hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.